Hey there, fellow watchers. It's that time of the week again. Born to watch. Stepping out of the comfort zone is something we don't do often enough here on Born to Watch. So today we aren't just stepping out. We're taking a giant leap. In 1987, well, 1987 is far and away Born to Watch's most reviewed year. This will be our seventh movie from 87, and it's a cracker. Dirty Dancing was an absolute sensation upon its release. With a handsome jobber, a relative unknown, and a smash hit song, it defied expectations to become one of the most talked about movies of the 80s. This started a run for the Swayze that would see him become almost the biggest star in Hollywood. A true quintuple threat. He can act, sing, dance, fight, and he looks mighty fine as well. There aren't many of us quintuple threats left, that's for sure. Sejunus. 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 I was on fucking roll there too. So join us as we take each other's hand, because we seem to understand the urgency of dirty dancing. Now let's meet my fellow dirty dancers as we let them out of the staff quarters to fornicate with the listeners. G Man, how are you? Good evening, team. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, it's always a pleasure. Yeah, look, this is uh, allegedly my 12th favourite <laughs> movie, so looking forward to the review of this. Um, but it's actually lucky for you guys that I'm here, because I have to say it, I'm the catch of the county. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, just, yes. last, just last week, I took a girl off one of the production team here at BTW. Yeah, really? And he stood in front of me like, what has he got that I haven't got? And she said, two orange belts. <laughs> But uh, no, really, look, I'm here tonight. I want really just want to join voices, oh hearts, my God. join hands, hearts and voices, oh God. voices, hearts and hands. Mm. At Kellerman's. At Born to Watch, the friendships last long <laughs> as the mountain stands. <laughs> nice girl. <laughs> look at you go. Damo, how are you, mate? Good. He's, hey, geez, he's rehearsed that. It's intro. a high bar. Yeah, but Catch of the County was one of the uh, great lines. Old Neil. Oh, yeah. he, he what a he. dork! Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. And I just to clarify too that quintuple, quintuple. Yes, right? yeah. I went. I counted on my fingers. You're yeah. right. There was five of them there. There was. Uh, but he's not a cake artist. So well, he's not. Well, th you're there's the only. A, there's a big what six? <laughs> yeah. What yeah. six? What do we call six? Sex tuplet. Sex tuplet. You're the only sex tuple threat. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cake art. Cake art. Get into it, Swayze. Well. Not anymore. Up there. <laughs> the, big, the big cake art bakery in the sky. That's right. That's for the, where he for is. For the Soise. Eh? Uh, it should be fun tonight. Uh, look, an interesting over and unders. It's not really our kind of movie. It's not one that I'd go back to the well for very often. 36 years old, which is hard to believe. And you'd be a fool to believe. <laughs> Just a fool. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm setting the overs and unders at 10. I think we all might be under here, but I don't know. Someone here might surprise us. Damo. Yeah, I won't surprise you. <laughs> I'm under. I'm on two. Two? Yeah. Two. Yeah. You've seen Dirty Dancing twice in your life. Yep. Yeah, I saw it when it... Um, yeah, I used to go every Tuesday night to Forestville RSL to watch movies. Oh, nice. And so in... So they'd, they'd come on probably about two months, maybe three months after they run on, yeah. it's on at Hoyts or whatever. Dirty Dancing has always been the high tide mark for crowd. We always we always say, oh, yeah, but it's not the Dirty Dancing crowd. Oh, it's nowhere near as big as the Dirty <laughs> Dancing crowd. It was the biggest night at Forestville RSL Tuesday Night Movies ever. It was packed. People on the floor, people everywhere. And we saw everything there for about four years, but nothing came close to the crowd at Dirty Dancing. Wow. But I had my one look there, and um, yeah, I hadn't needed to watch it again until last week. So it's interesting. They were the good old days, movies at the Aries and stuff like yeah. that. I remember I saw The Fugitive at DYRSL in the auditorium. Yep. My, my nan used to take us down to, to Man the Leagues Club every holidays. We'd get the bus down from French's Forest with her. Yeah. And get into the auditorium there. They'd have the matinee movies. Yeah. yeah any that you remember, Gal? Yeah. Um, Foot Rot Flats. Oh, oh. Got to run. oh um, uh, Mr. Percival, what's... Oh, Storm Boy. Storm Boy, yeah, 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 saw yeah. Storm Boy oh, early on. Mate, sure, did you cry? Fingerbone Bill. Yeah. Oh, Fingerbone yeah, that Bill. Was, that was sad when you were, well, you were young then. I'm yeah. not a Pelican guy. I'm more of an Ibis mm. type. I think I saw <laughs> I think I saw Back to the Future there. Uh, I said Back to the Future there. I can't remember. 
<laughs> Rodeo. Storm bin chicken. <laughs> oh, that'd be so much better. Part, well, the, I think that might have been a part two, but let's do a new Storm Boy with Ibises. <laughs> I mean, how could you not pitch that to some studio? Yeah, uh, th- I, 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 you know what? We want original ideas. Yeah. That's original. That's right. Well, no one has ever pitched a Ibis led movie. <laughs> no. No. Okay, so you're two. I'm a two, yes. G-Man. I'm well over 10. Wow. Now, that's more to the fact that back in the 80s, we had one TV and one video player, and my sisters, two sisters. loved this right. movie. Yeah. So you were trapped. It, it was on repeat, yeah. And yep. look, it's a great movie, and it's it's fun to watch, but it was on a lot. Um, this and Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Yeah. Got a, yeah. Got a big run in, in our Wake house. Up. the night, my father said, <laughs> but you're going to live oh, your life <laughs> I don't know where that was going. Cindy Lauper sound like she's from Mississippi or something. Uh, yeah, well, you know. But no, so I'm um, I'm definitely well over. Well over. Yeah, well okay. over. Okay. Okay. I'm four. Ooh, that's... I can't believe you've only seen this before. Mate, uh, you know what? I had to really think about it. I didn't see it at the movies. Didn't see it on VHS. I reckon I only saw it once it got onto DVD and I would have hired it. So you're looking. I reckon I hadn't seen this movie until the 2000s. Oh wow! So I, I was twelve like, years late. Yeah, I, I tell you what, I did. I tell you what, I knew though. Every word of the songs. Oh yeah, yeah. every yeah. word of the songs. Yep. Like it was an institution. Like it, Saturday morning on Rage and on the the music mm. shows. That I've had the time of my life was on like ad nauseum. Yeah. Yep. It was massive. You, you massive couldn't song. go anywhere without hearing it. You believe yep. he didn't want to record that. Really? Yeah, he, he had issues. He didn't think it was going to be a big movie. Oh. Thank, thank God he had a crack at it. Yeah. It's a good song. Well, there was that That wasn't the only hit. Then you had Eric Carmen and, oh, yeah. and, and the Swars himself. Been, been they're been all hits. You. Yeah, they're all hits. Yeah. Big hits. Three big hits, original yeah. songs yep. from that movie. Definitely. One, obviously, yeah, will tell us won the Academy Award for Best Original Song. Yes, that's mm. right. Which it thoroughly deserved. Uh, yeah, so look, uh, interesting. And just before we get to uh, the trailer... I just thought I watched this because I couldn't tell you really when I first watched it. We watched it the other night as a family, and I watched it with my nine-year-old daughter Isabel. Mm. There were some concerns as to whether it was going to be okay for her to watch it because we did try and watch Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and Megan had a heart attack when the sex scene between Jolie and Pitt happened, and I was like, "She'll be right. Nothing. You can't see anything, but it's pretty raunchy." Anyway. But unsolicited feedback from my nine-year-old daughter watching Dirty Dancing, which we thought she would love, and she didn't. Oh, wow. Why are they doing it shirtless? <laughs> Is the first comment, right, about all the dancing. Why are they doing it shirtless, Dad? It's a fair call. Then, completely unsolicited. Oh, I don't like a nose. <laughs> Oh, and then, and then later on in the movie, she says it again. She goes, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a funny nose and small teeth. And then Megan said, Jesus. and Megan said, we go. it's Gow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put a wig on. Gow. We watched it last night after, after the barbecue. So it was fresh in the, uh, fresh in the mind. Yeah, nice. So unsolicited straight out yeah. of the bat from a nine-year-old watching it. She did end up liking it. But she she struggled. She was so cynical throughout the whole movie. Well, mm. to be fair, Jennifer Grey didn't like her nose either. She didn't. No. But apparently, it was a medical condition that she had to get fixed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's listen to the Dirty Dancing trailer. Another quality 80s trailer. What a soundtrack. Uh, Damo, what's your favourite? Hungry Eyes, Eric Carmen. Gow, what's your favourite? Hungry Eyes. That was in my good, oh, it's in my good yeah. Oh, okay, well, we, we don't give it all away, but yeah. like, uh, She's Like the Wind's my go-to. Yeah, yeah. that's my number two. Now, yeah. my overs and unders of the movie is four. My over and unders of singing She's Like the Wind at karaoke is right. 600. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was a go-to for me. Yep. I did a damn good fucking rendition as yeah, well. Yeah, well, you would. G-Man, tell us about Dirty Dancing. Okay. It's the summer of 63, and 17 year old Francis Baby Hausman is about to learn some major lessons in life, as well as a thing or two about dancing. On holiday in America's Catskill Mountains with her older sister and parents, Baby shows little interest in the resort activities and instead discovers her own entertainment <laughs> when she stumbles upon the. St- 
<laughs> Nocturnal activities. When she stumbles yeah. up, sh- up on the staff quarters. When she trips and falls on an older man's penis. <laughs> oh, well, <that's>, spoiler alert. <laughs> where an all-night dance party is in full swing. Mate. Is that the end of it? No. Okay, keep going. Mesmerised by the raunchy dance moves and the pounding rhythms, <laughs> Baby can't wait to be part of the scene. Well, she can't wait to be pounded. Especially when she <laughs> catches sight of sexy heartthrob Johnny Castle, the resort dance instructor. Oof. Baby's life is about to change forever as she's thrown in at the deep end as Johnny's leading lady, both on stage and off, mm. with breathtaking consequences. Mate. <laughs> Tell you what, something gets thrown in, that's for sure. Uh... I've got it somewhere. I'll leave it to good, the bad, the ugly. No, I'm not. I'm going to use it now. The staff quarters is like Caligula. You open that door, and I swear to God, if this movie wasn't rated PG, it would have been a gangbang. Yeah. That's in my bad. So Yeah. yeah. Incredible. It was. Have you seen um, Walk Hard, the Dewey Dewey Yes. Yes. And don't talk to the band. Just get there um, and clean that floor because I have my what well, they customers want to come in here and dance erotically, and they need a clean floor to do it on. <laughs> yeah. It was the same sort of yeah, yeah same exactly sort of thing. Was. Exactly was. Yeah, that was a really good. We sort of it was hard not to pipe in oh, there. Oh no, there's some good bits in. It there. was hard not to pipe yeah. in. We sorry for taking the limelight a bit, but it was a very good <laughs> synopsis. Well done. Okay, critical thinking. IMDb rates a dirty dancing seven out of ten. It's 72% on the tomato meter and has a 90% audience score. That's high. Wow. Yeah. 90 is super Loved high. Loved by the people. Yeah. Became a cult hit, really. Massive cult hit. Yeah. Damo, you look pensive. I, I'm just thinking too, I don't think, I, I think you could pigeonhole the people though. I think you could pigeonhole them to um, predominantly females you think there's a lot of female... 30, 30, 30 to 50 years, they were absolutely madly in love with Patrick Swayze. So you think this was a bit of a uh, Team Jacob sort of thing, where you had like like young 30 to 50-year-old women getting their milf on with, with the younger man? It's, I think, well, yeah. He was 37, mind you. Yeah, that's right. He was yeah. he was old. Yeah. Yeah. And he looked, he looked old. He looked like a man. Mate, she looks... 20. Yeah. She looks 20. Yeah. He looks 50. Yeah, he looks yeah. like a man. Just yeah, he's been around the block. Yeah. He's tortured so no, But I think he um I think his his presence and his sex appeal and everything would probably blind people. Uh, uh, you know, and actually whatever down sort of parts of the movie there may be I reckon they overlook it because oh, but look at Patrick! Oh my God! Yeah, it was a believable story. I don't remember looking at it thinking it's not because because of that. I think you're exactly right because of his appeal. Yeah, so oh, I, think, I, I, mate, I think it's a really good point, Dame. I think a lot you, you forgive a lot of this because yeah. he's he's a dynamo. Yeah, he's, of, he's a bit of a dick at the start, but mm. he's he's such a presence on the yeah. on the start on the massive screen. massive presence. He just absolutely just jumps out. Yeah, and there's good chemistry between the two of them. Throughout yeah, there the movie. is. You know, there's it's, really it's, good chemistry, yeah. which which adds to it the grows. movie. Yeah, it, it certainly very does. Very quickly. Yeah, but they're only there a week. True. <laughs> very quickly. Very quickly. Okay, a couple of reviews. We've got a good review from Pauline Kale. Now, she's a very famous American uh, movie never, critic. Never heard of her. Uh, for, used to write for The New Yorker. And, in fact, there was a rumour that the latest Quentin Tarantino movie, The Movie Critic, which is going to be his 10th and last, oh, was based on Pauline Kale. Wow. It is not. But that's how sort of famous she is in the States. The dancing here brings out the central dreaminess of the songs. Dirty Dancing, what a great title, is such a bubble-headed retro vision of growing up in the 60s or any other time that you go out of the theatre giggling happily. Definitely people left happy. It's a feel-good movie. That's what it's supposed to be. Very ambiguous ending, though. Yeah. But but a happy ending. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing like a good happy ending. Okay, good bad review. <laughs> good bad review. A bad review. Good name, this one. Desson Thompson of the Washington Post. Old oh. Des. See, Tom. Mm. Mm. Uh, the dance finale between Gray and Swayze, although an obvious crowd pleaser, is performed to a contemporary song clearly intended for the charts, charts which blows the period feel right off the dance floor. <sighs> I disagree. That's that. I mean, you know, I am so invested in that finale. You don't that, care that the no. movie was written in the. I mean, the song was written in the eighties yeah, or I mid mean, eighties, and but the band obviously had the sheet music. Hey, and they, they played along. Yeah, I got him in the good. Now look, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go against. I'm going to go against character here. I disagree. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, I can't disagree, agree with that. guy. Yeah, disagree you, you guy. Go, disagree yeah. guy. Okay. 
Yeah, no, I I don't think that comes up in any way, shape, or form. No, no. The song, everyone loves it. Yeah. I think that's that's an obvious nitpick that he's yeah. just he's thinking, oh, I'm going to go against the grain here. Just, I'm going to be the I'm going to be anti gear. Yeah, he's he wants to disagree with the norm. Yeah. Okay, G Man, ordinary people. Okay, Patrick Swayze, classically trained dancer. Yeah. Uh, he you trained at the Harkness Ballet School and the Joffrey Ballet School. Ooh, Ooh geez. Um, first danced professionally as Prince Charming on the Disney Parade um, and then was Danny Zuko in the original Broadway of Greece. Oh, I didn't know there that. There you go. Got his, got his movie start. We've talked earlier uh, uh, in previous episodes. There's Ace Johnson in Skate Town, USA. <laughs> I've got to say, going back to that, he would have been a good Danny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he would have, he would have ham- really good dad. So that would have been about 1973 well. or something. Uh, mid-70s, yeah, yeah. somewhere in there. Um, yeah, after that, he was on. He made his television debut on MASH in 72 as a soldier diagnosed with leukemia. Yeah, I, I, me- I remember yeah. the episode, actually. Right. Um, interesting one. After that, he was actually in the music video Rosanna by Toto. Yes. Along with Cynthia Rhodes With as well. Cynthia yeah, Rhodes, yeah. He's Swayze in it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's, he's a dancer in a red Letterman jacket. And oh she's in God. it as well. Oh, yeah. she's in it. She kills it in that. Yeah. Rosanna, Rosanna. Yeah. yeah. Toto, just honestly, one, Toto. Of the, one of the greatest bands awesome. ever. Do you know they were the backup band for Beat It? Yes. Do, 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 with Quincy do, do, Jones do, do, as producer. Do, do, do. That's the all time greatest ever collab, I think, with Toto, with the crew. Jeff Porcaro and um, Steve LaCatha. Yeah. Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones. That's the dream team. Yeah, it is. You, you're. Passionate about that. I, I yeah, honestly, I love Toto. Nice. I really do. Toto are good, mate. Yeah. Africa's one of the greatest songs of all. Hold the line. Hold the line, yeah. Mate, hold the line is so yeah, good. Good song. Mm. Yeah. Um, look, other early out roles in The Outsiders in 83. Uncommon Valor as well in 83. Yeah, with Gene Hackman. He was in Grandview, USA as well, as Ernie Slam Webster. He's in Red Dawn with. Yeah, uh, love Red Dawn. With Jennifer Grace. Well. Hated each yep. other on that Hated each other. Yeah. Hated each other. Yeah, Youngblood 86. We've talked about Youngblood oh, before. Well, it's cracking can't be far away, Youngblood. Uh, Can't be far away. Obviously, Dirty Dance. He got a Golden Globes Best Actor nom for that. Roadhouse in 89. We Starts here. That. Starts here. Yeah. Uh, next of Kin 89. Ghost 99. Another yeah. Golden Globes nomination. Uh, Point Break 91. He's, he's, uh, he's, I'd say Ghost and Point Break, he's <laughs> the biggest star in the world. Yeah, he's, he's massive. He's, 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 having, he's duking it out with uh, Arnie and Sly here. Yeah. Mm. As they'd be the, I reckon they're the top three at the time. Yeah, he's massive. Yeah. Massive. Yeah. Doesn't do much after. Now, to Wong Fu. He yeah, did that. He got a Golden Globe nom for that. Yeah, Prince Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. And then, um, yeah. and then Donnie Darko, 2001 as well. Yeah. I bit didn't part. remember him in that. Bit part. Okay. But look, a, a couple of sliding doors here. Both Billy Zane and Val Kilmer were up for up for this role. Um, Billy Zane couldn't do it as a dancer, couldn't sell it as a dancer, and Val Kilmer turned it down. Oh, because he was – he Val Kilmer in um, Top Secret. He could dance and yeah. sing as Nick Rivers. Yeah. I mean, he was bloody great. Yeah. Was, he was, in the, he? was he in the cow suit? We've talked about this before. Oh, I d- <laughs> He's not in the cow suit, <laughs> is he? I don't think he is, yeah. <laughs> don't stop. Don't move. Yeah, just stay for a little bit longer. <laughs> One of the great scenes in, in movies. One of the great scenes. Oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah, look, he was, um, he was originally cast in Tango and Cash. He was Kurt Russell's role. Wow. Oh, and, uh, okay. Yeah, didn't make, but pulled out to make Roadhouse. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, it was also approached to star in Predator 2, but uh, couldn't do it. Scheduling conflict. So that was the Danny Glover yeah. role. Yes. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Which I, I, do, starring I role. do like yeah. that movie. Yeah, it's not as good as the original, but it's good. No. It's good, no. So here's one for you. Uh, just, a, just a little tidbit on him. After he, after he started in Ghost in 1990... Yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of uh, rappers used to say I'm ghost as in like I'm ghosting this place. That was one of the lines, you know, I'm ghost I'm right. here. After he did ghost, they started like the notorious B.I.G. was one of them. They started saying I'm Swayze. Oh, I'm, as like I'm Swayze, like I'm out of here. I've, I've ghosted. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> he got into popular, popular culture. Pop culture there from ghost. Yeah. Oh look, we'll move on. Jennifer Grey, we've co- we've covered her before. First movie was Reckless in '84 with Aidan Quinn and Daryl Hannah. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, in Red Dawn, as we, we talked about, as one of the Wolverines. One of the sisters. Her and uh, Lee Thompson are sisters. That's right. Yeah. Uh, then she was in The Cotton Club in 84 with Richard Gere, Diane Lane. And then she was obviously cast in Ferris Bueller's Day Off in 86. Um, then Dirty, she got a Golden Globe Award nom too for, for Dirty Dancing in 87. She's very, very good in this movie. I was taken aback by how good she is. Yeah. And I actually found her... 
really sexy. Oh, God, she is. Like, I, I, because I've never found her attractive before, no. but I've not seen this movie for yeah. over 20 years. No. So I actually found her to be really mm. super sexy. She, especially when she starts sort of stripping down, you see how she's super hot. fit. Well, yeah, even Megan yeah. said when, when Cynthia Rhodes dances, when they're teaching them together. It's one of my favorite yeah. scenes. And, yeah. and Megan goes, God, she's really skinny. And then Jennifer Grey gets sort of the gear off and yeah. Megan was like, she's just as small as her. Like, yeah. She's tiny. I know. Yeah. Tiny. Yeah. No, but she, that obviously. So she still had her nose at this stage. Yes, I don't know what year she had the. Um, uh, not sure. It was it was quite a bit after that, I believe. But she, did she do much after this? Look, she was in Bounce in two thousand with Ben Affleck and Gwyneth Paltrow, and she did a few TV roles: The New Adventures of Old Christine. She was in House. I reckon, Grey's Anatomy. I reckon this is post nose yeah. job. Then she won da- Dancing with the Stars in two thousand and five. So I think it was around that time. Yeah, I think well, it was I think, after that. I think it was a, like a, a, a career ruining nose it was, job. It was. No, it was. One of the few. She's, she's even come out and said, I regret doing it because yeah. it, it changed her career because yeah. no one recognised her anymore. No, and, and that's the thing too. But, you know, like obviously, yeah, like she's won her front on. She looks fantastic on the side. And you go, oh, yeah, there's a bit of a conk on there. But hell, look at Owen Wilson with his snaggled yeah. nose. Yeah. Like he's been fine. and what about um, Morgs? Morgs has yeah, done all right. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Massive Schneider, he's fine. Yeah, so I just think, yeah, like, oh, look, obviously, um, you know, aesthetics is so important and people get all self-conscious. Ego, she, right? she would have, but she, so you said your daughter watched it and mentioned that. Straight away. And, and I had not and mentioned and anything. So, that's right. So how many times would have she just copped it, you know, just by someone and she's gone, you know what, I've gotta, I'm going to stop doing this and yeah. – and, um, Get the nose, but you know it is. It would be apparently it was a medical thing. She had a problem with uh, some sinuses or something. Well, I don't believe the story. Yeah, either do I. But anyway, vanity's a bitch. Yeah. All right, a couple of quick sliding doors for her. Sharon Stone and Sarah Jessica Parker. Parker were both up for the role of baby until she became until Jennifer Grey came in and she got the role. All right. Them. And I think I believe the screen test she did with Patrick Swayze, the dance scene they did was. Well, actually, they incorporated that into that, the movie. Well, they did after yeah, the screen test. Oh, they they on the so ground, much, crawling yeah. on the ground and everything. No, no, when they no. do the dance, when they're standing up in the room before the sex scene, before the love yeah. scene, yep. that's the dance in there. Okay. Um, and they they nailed it in that, so that was where the, the chemistry started. Can't see Sharon Stone. I think she could do it. Uh, Sarah Jessica she Parker. Could could but if you think about Sharon Stone back in um, Total Recall, that was yeah. about the same. She was like in a, in a in a aerobics gear and stuff. And True. Yeah. She was pretty um. Yeah, but I don't think she can do the innocent. Yeah, probably not. Like... Baby's super innocent. Well, the thing yeah. was, they had to they had to get someone. I mean, she, they had look, to, she did look eighteen. They had to get her to screen test for this because she's twenty seven at the time, right? She, and she's yeah. playing someone like eight or nine young, years yeah. younger. Yeah. Yeah. But they had to be convinced that she could play someone younger because you had to have that innocence. What yeah. he said, like she had to be able to come across as yep. a naive yep. school kid. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Uh, all right, let's move on. Jerry Orbach. Mm-hmm. Um, he was a massive in musicals uh, until he got some television and film roles. But for years until he died, he think he died in about two thousand and four. He held the record for the most musical stage performances of any actor. Shit. Wow. But um, originally, like, he's, he's obviously well known for being in Law and Order. He did yep. 274 episodes. But his first TV role, he was ironically called Cop Hater. He played a guy <laughs> called Mumza, who was a gang leader. It was a movie nice. with Robert Lugia. Oh, um, Lugia. Wow. But he had some early TV roles in Kojak. He was in Buck Rogers. Oh, wow. Trapper John. Synth- oh, mate. Trapper John MD. Brewster's Millions he was in. Yeah. Uh, with Richard Pryor. He was in FX in 1986. Great movie. With Brian Brown Brian and Brian Dennehy. Yeah. And then, obviously, Dirty Dancing, Out for Justice. Oh, he was mate. one of the Cigar. cops, yeah. yeah. Ronnie Donjiger. And he was in Universal Soldier. Oh, yeah. God. Um, Great movie. Van Damme. Dolph. Yeah, Dolph Lundgren and Van Damme. Yep. Yeah, and then after that, uh, he did seasons up until he passed away in 2004, 2005. He, he did 274 episodes. As Massive. Said, Law and Order and some of the spin-offs of that as well. Yeah. Uh, we've got Cynthia Rhodes now she had a short sharp career she's obviously a dancer but she was she played Tina Tech in Flashdance yep mm. in 83 she's Jackie she and Staying Alive yeah yeah okay <laughs> Only on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, she was in Runaway. Do you remember the movie Runaway? It was Tom, Tom Selleck. Selleck. Yeah. Fucking oath I do, yeah. Kirstie yeah. Alley and Gene Simmons. Terrible sci-fi, mm. yeah. And then obviously she was Penny and Dirty Dancing. Now. Degree of Quigley. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. yeah, Degree of Quigley. That is degree such a good call. Yeah. Cynthia, Tom, Quigley. Wow. That's it. And we did Kurt too, didn't we? Well, did we do Kurt? We got Kurt's role. Oh, well, we, can, we, can, yeah. we can do that, yeah, yeah loosely. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, close that, enough. That's, well, that's all, is, yeah, that's all there is. That's all there is. We make the rules, so there we yeah. go. One degree of uh, Kurt Russell. Boom. He, he auditioned. Done. Yeah, we'll turn it down. Now, listen, 
Cynthia Rhodes gave up acting after that to raise a family. She had three boys. She was married to no other than Richard Marks. Oh, Dick oh, Marks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Should have known better. Yeah, that's the one. But to fall in love with you. I didn't know that. Now yeah. love is just a faded memory. Yeah, they met Hazard. They met oh. in 83. He was working on the soundtrack for Staying Alive. And that's where they met because she was oh. in the movie. Yeah. But they were married right. up until 2014. I think they divorced around then. Yeah. Oh. Who directed Staying Alive? We know who directed it. Uh, Sly. 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 Yeah. Sly. Oh, Dick Marks, eh? he had a good mullet. Mate, the, probably the best. Mate. Like, real. It was yeah. boofy. He's right here waiting. Like, sure the best songs. Right here waiting. Yeah. Some Great massive song. songs. He was huge. Yeah. He had a minute. Massive. He had a minute. He was massive. Yep. Big Goobs. Goobs was a huge. He's still, oh. still a huge Dick Marks fan. You know, I think he's still touring now. I uh, think he was out recently. He was though. actually yeah, yeah, he played was. at Twin Towns. He yeah, did, yeah. yeah. He played at Twin Towns. Yeah. I was thinking about buying a ticket. It would, be, it would have been pretty yeah. funny. Yeah. He better still have the mullet. Oh, he'd have to. It'd be Are like, divorced like now? Jennifer Grey on the nose. Yeah, they divorced in 2014, okay. so nearly 10 yeah. years. Oh, wow. And look, well, that's covered, everyone. The only other one is a small role for Newman. Oh, yes. yes. Wayne, Wayne Knight. Knight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, gets gets a run in a few early scenes. He's, He's pretty very funny. Good. He's yeah. very good. He's very yeah. good. Okay, Jamie, what about the budget in the box office? All right. So domestic box office was $63.9 million, international $150 million for a total worldwide $213.9. Massive. Six, six million dollar budget. Cool. The opening weekend did $3.9 wow. million. So they they smashed that out of the park. In Mate, the you get a, what's that, a 30, 40 return almost? Yeah. Yes. You don't, you don't hear that anymore. It, but it, it grew. So, you know, it got released in the States in 87, but came to Australia in 88, about mm. March. But we all knew that it was coming. Came on the wind. And, and then, <laughs> she's like the wind. And um, even when it arrived, I said, like, leading up to... You know, ever, it was another one people talked about, and that's when it came on at Foriari. Man, oh man, had to be there. Chockers. Everyone was just yeah. Well, really it, to see it, it spans the generations. You would have you would have been sitting and watching that with eighty year olds. Yeah, thinking about their days in the cat skills, getting finger boshed by the dance teacher. <laughs> the cat skills. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god! Um, all right, so Dirty Dancing was number three that year, two hundred thirteen million mm. behind. Whitey's favourite. Oh, hit me. So- solo movie. Your favourite? What's your favourite solo movie of all time? Oh, Fatal Attraction. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. 12 year old. Yep, 320 million for Fatal Attraction. Beverly Hills Cop 2, 276 million. I, I think there's arguments that Beverly Hills Cop 2 is better than Beverly Hills Cop. I think we've had that argument here, and we shall be covering Beverly Hills Cop 2 yeah. on Born to Watch. I'm, I'm on that tarp. Yeah, so Beverly Hills Cop 2 yeah. is exceptionally good. Oh, yeah, it's Judge good. Reinhold just starts killing oh, it. Yeah, mate, he's so good. He, yeah. just, he just comes alive, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. And, and even tag it. Like, you know, yeah, the we, we got to, de- their characters developed and. Big time. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. But yeah, look, the Living Daylight's in fourth spot. Three Men and a Baby in number five and Good Morning Vietnam. Lethal Weapon in seven. Predator in eight. It's a good year. 87's yeah. a really Strong. good year. Yeah. So but we've been through it before. Obviously, uh, Last Emperor received the most noms. Best Picture, Best Director, Best Screenplay, Best Original Score. Moonstruck had three wins. Uh, Michael Douglas won for Wall Street as Best Actor. Cher for Moonstruck. And Sean about, Connery was best supporting him for The Untouchables. So this would have been... So just after Moonstruck, Sher would have gone on her tear uh, back in the charts yeah, with all her... The shoot, when shoot she, song and all that. Yeah, but and then she was she did... Um, what was the other one she did after Moonstruck? Oh, um, on the Missouri. Yeah, that um, was the Turn Back Time. Turn, turn Back, back Time. time. Yeah. Mate, that song was huge. Massive. Oh, mate, I like her old stuff. Bit of a Gypsies, Tramps and Thieves. God, you're really showing your age, mate. Come on. Yeah, anyway... Come on. But uh, look, 87, <laughs> there was there was plenty of good music around. Oh. Now, what do you reckon was number one in 87? Oh, I'm saying Dave Dobbin. No. It was a Paul White favourite. Oh, was it? <laughs> oh. oh, Walk Like an Egyptian. Yeah, walk oh, like an the Egyptian. Bangles, yeah. right, okay. Um, yes. I want to dance with somebody. Nothing's going to stop us now. There's no. heaps of them in there. The, okay. way it is, the way it is, Bruce Hornsby in the range. Oh, man. Oh, what a song. <laughs> so good. Um, La Bamba. There was there was yeah. tons of them, but there was one I found that. Uh, Let them see we're crazy. There was, there was one I found that I thought you guys would like. This is a really good song. You might remember this. I haven't heard it for years, but this was this was in the charts in '87. You playing it? He's playing it. <laughs> Oh, smoke, uh, smoke, uh, spend our ballet. No. When smoking sins, I hear violins. Yep. 
It Who is, is it? Ballet, isn't it? It's ABC. Oh, ABC. ABC. Oh, God damn it. Yes, right. it is. It's, it was like the, the new romantics, all that sort of stuff. Yep. <laughs> wow. Mate, I can't. You don't know that one, they, Marty? The no. ABC had like shoot that poison arrow, which through everyone knows. Heart. Yeah. Through your heart. Yes. I've never heard that song before. Yep. I have not heard that for that many years. Now here's another one you might not have heard. Oh, here okay, we go again. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. Yeah. the Klingon! What is yeah. um, the Trekking band that prize yeah. under Captain Kirk? Star trekking oh, across the yeah, universe, always going thing. forward. Couldn't find reverse. Yeah, yeah. Eighty-seven had some crackers. That, mm. they, yeah, that was a real wow. novelty song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, shit song. Bit like Wild Wild West. Yeah, novelty song like Who Let the Dogs Out. All those sorts of novelty yeah. songs. That was definitely one of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, G-Man, well done. Let's move into 1987, Hit, Sleeper, and Dud. And as we said, we've done this year a little bit, but I'm not sure we've done many Hit, Sleeper, Duds in here. We're going to start with my hit, and I may have used this movie before. I've got outside any movies that we've done. I've tried to go outside the top 10 or the top 15. Yep. yep. My hit, Extreme Prejudice. Oh, Nick oh, Nolte. Yeah. Good movie. Powers, Booths. Nuts. Yeah. Michael Ironside, directed by Walter Hill. Now, Walter Hill was an 80s staple. 48 Hours, Southern Comfort, oh, movie yeah, he introduced yeah, to yeah. me. Yep. Red Heat, The Warriors. Wow, yeah. Uh, and, and Extreme Prejudice is Texas Ranger, who's Nick Nolte. Yes. And a ruthless narcotics kingpin, Powers Booth. Powers they Booth were mates. is always a badass. Yeah, and uh, and now they're adversaries. And it is oh, fucking yeah. awesome. It mm. is so it 80s. Is a good movie, yeah. It is so I I mean, Any Walter yeah. Hill movie... Timeless. Yeah. He's such a good director. So Powers Booth was also in Southern Comfort. Yes, he was. Yeah. Yes, he, he was. He was in Tombstone too. Yeah, he was. Yes, he was. He was. Curly. He was um, Tolliver, Cy Tolliver. No, yeah. no, I'm thinking of um, Deadwood. God, that's what I'm thinking of, Deadwood. Oh, yes. yes he was too, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just hang on one second. We're going to close the garage door there. Hang on. This door? Yeah. Is it loud? Well, it might be really loud. It is really loud. When smoking sings. Smokey. When it's smoky it's sings. about Smokey Robinson. That's some guy. I hear violins. Yeah. When Smokey sings. <laughs> I forget everything. I'm sure it's, it must be a song about Smokey Robinson. On a hot sweet night, you know you're right just yeah. to hold her tight. Oh, yeah. Uh, that wouldn't have gone well. You know, that's what we should do when we're opening the beat Born to Watch Vault. We should say we're opening the Born to Watch Vault and then you hear the background. <laughs> yeah, you can just hear that in the background. Like going, a coffin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a door sliding open. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We're going we're gonna to film a, uh, a little dance sequence at the end here with um, Whitey and me doing the leap. Or he's doing the leap into me. <laughs> okay. And I'm just it's just going to be me sprawled out in the ground dead. <laughs> She's like, go. I didn't do the lift. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was okay. <laughs> yeah. We're still okay. Yes. I couldn't do the lift. <laughs> you couldn't. Okay, G Man, what have you got for 1987 hit? Well, we, we have gone through this before, but I've I've gone with one. Maybe you've talked this before, Whitey. It was Eddie Murphy Raw. Oh, oh just stand up comic. Yeah, it was a cracker. I remember seeing God, it. God, we watched that oh, so many times. This has been the most quotable movie of my life. This and Delirious. Life. Yeah. God, we watched that a lot. A lot. So I, I remember going down to watch it at Collaroy. I don't know if it was with you that I was with. Um, but we couldn't get in because we were too young yeah. and they wouldn't let us in. We had to hang around and watch Moonstruck a bit later. Oh, terrible. Yeah, average. What the fuck is Gunny Goo Goo Goo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gunny Goo Goo. But yeah, that, uh, that movie was what spawned Eddie Murphy and it was awesome. Oh, I took yeah. him over. The Delirious was the one and then it, it, Raw was just fun. Yeah. The purple suit, unbelievable. Mm. He must have had some sweaty cags. Yeah. Damo, what's your hit? Controversial last week, so yeah. let's see what well, you can my, do this week. Controversial on my dad. Yes. But yeah, but on my hit, it's something that I brought up multiple times here, just references. Whitman, Price, and her dad. Yes. And last week I talked about Cadre Cola. Yeah. It hits the spot. And we've got the Butcher of Bakersfield, so the running man. Yeah. Good ben call. Ben Richards. Good I call. absolutely love that movie. It's a great movie. It's really awesome. Good, really good book, too. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Stephen, Sp uh, Stephen King wrote it under a pseudonym. Uh, Barkman, he has a pseudonym that he wrote under, and he did quite a few of his short stories under that. It's a really good book. Mm. So we can just bounce on that because I had that as my sleeper. 
Oh, nice. yeah, that was my sleeper. He came in 28th on the money list at 38 million. So, yeah. and I thought that. But Arnie, Jim Brown, Jesse Ventura, Maria Conchita Alonso, Professor Toru Tanaka. Yeah. yeah. It, for me, it's Great Arnold's cast. Arnold's best year because yeah. he's got Predator and that. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's two two crackers for him. Okay, so Gao's done his sleeper. We'll roll into my sleeper. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. I, yeah, that's, I just A saw that really the good horror movie. Mm. I saw this at the movies as well. Yeah. Uh, got in to see it as a as a 12-year-old. Uh, Heather, starring Heather Langenkamp and Robert Eglund, obviously, as, as Freddy. And Patricia Arquette yeah. is a, a, a psychiatrist familiar with the knife-wielding dream demon, helps teens in a mental hospital battle the killer who is invading mm. their dreams. So It's so good. And normally those horrors, they really start to peter out terribly. Yeah. But it didn't. It, it didn't. Actually, it's, they've got one more. The fourth isn't bad either yeah. of Nightmare, and then they get pretty... Yeah. Pretty shitty. But, after but that. normally at three, you go, oh, this is yeah. just dog shit. But that was really dream good. Dream Warriors is yeah. great. Really good. Yeah. Because two was poor. Mm. Nightmare on Elm Street 2 was poor. Yep. And they really saved the day with three yep. and four, actually. Okay, Damo, what's your sleeper? I went for Stakeout with uh, Richard Dreyfuss oh, and, good movie. and Emilio Estevez. Yeah, yeah, that's that, a good one. And even the second one was awesome, too, yeah. but uh, funny. But just a, yeah, damn good movie. Um, and just a funny movie. I rewatched it maybe maybe in uh, lockdown. Because I had, okay. I reckon I, that's like two I or three times I'd seen it. Decades. I've got demo numbers on that one. And yep. I just rewatched it. And it's, yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah. It's a really good movie. It's a good year. Because it was like good s- Sneakers is not far away from that either. Yeah. Like it's uh, maybe a couple of years later, Sneakers comes out. So Yeah, that's a good movie too. Yeah, yeah. that's a good River movie. Phoenix. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Dud. Um, I'll start because Gow threw us off, but well done. 987, Dud <laughs> Ishtar. Oh, uh, I love Ishtar. Yes, yeah, say no more. Okay. Thank you, Damo. Warren Beatty, yep. Dustin Hoffman. Yep. Two <laughs> terrible lounge singers get booked to play a gig in <laughs> a Moroccan funny. hotel, it's but somehow become pawns in an international power play yeah. between the CIA, the Emir of Ishtar, and the rebels trying to overthrow his regime. Terrible movie. Generally known as one of the worst movies ever made. It's terrible. But it is freaking funny. <laughs> no, it's oh, not. I tell you what, oh, there are bits in it where I'm laughing my I head saw, off. I, I saw this at the movies as a 12-year-old. I saw it at 4 hours Terrible. It got a big rap. So not big raps, but it got a uh, lot of promotion. Well, it? It's two of the biggest it stars massive, on the yeah. planet. Yes. Yeah, they were huge. I've never massive. seen it. Never seen <laughs> nah, it. Give it a- I did. I, look, there's elements in there where I laugh my head off. Yeah. Terrible. The move the camel scene. Move the, uh, the camel. Okay. Move. That was, I think it was Charles Grodin saying it, and it was freaking funny. Okay. Move on. Yeah. G Man? I had for my dad Revenge of the Nerds 2, Ooh. Nerds in Paradise. Ooh. Now, wow. yeah. <sighs> Revenge of the Nerds was a good movie for its time. Well I'm not sure we can talk much about Revenge of the Nerds because there's just a blatant rape scene. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, you know, for like it was, it was a big movie back then. It was massive. God, it was funny. But Revenge of the Nerds two, the rising college nerds set out to a convention in Florida, but are not welcomed That's by right. the Alpha Beta reps. That's right. They've literally tried to do the same movie over again and cash in. Isn't on it. it a rundown building that they're yeah, in? It's it's fucking. Th- not they great. are literally gone the money grab and just tried yeah. to remake the whole movie, <laughs> the first one, just and not yeah, nothing different. Yeah, and yeah. except for the fact that. Um, that Goose didn't come back. No, well, he was oh, smart. Yeah. No, well, he was he was he already was, into um, ER by then, I think, 87. Uh, no, nah, he was riding high on the back of uh, oh, Top Gun. Top Gun, that's right. He yeah. would have been way too big for that. But those nerds were pretty bloody good nerds. The good nerds, Lamar. Um, yeah. Booger. Yeah. yeah. Booger yeah. was in the second one. Who was the guy that played the violin with the big axe part in his hair? The big... Uh, yeah, that was. he was in. He was in. He was in thirty something. What's his name? Uh, um, Tim Timothy Busfield. But I'm trying to think uh, of his name. Timothy Busfield. Yeah. yeah. Timothy Busfield. Yes, that's right. Yeah. He was in Field of Dreams. Yeah. He, he was. was the he was the dickhead brother. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Damo, what's your dad? My Be dad, and carefully. I've I've mentioned this multiple times as well. It's. Cherry 2000. Oh, was that 87? Yeah. It is Dead Set, one of the worst movies. It was like Mad Max, you know, let's go into the wastelands. And it's Melanie Griffith, Griffith driving this car through the wasteland. Larry Fishburne. And Larry Fishburne's the solicitor. They're going to chase a sex doll that's been... Oh, because the, the guy that hired her, his sex doll blew up. So he has to get a new one. And the only place they've got him is in the wastelands in this old sort of, um, oh, I don't know, wherever they used to manufacture them. And uh, so they had to get him in there and, uh, yeah, get his new doll, which was, it was like AI. 
sort of yeah. thing. So yeah. just read me. He <laughs> he travels to the ends of the earth to find the perfect woman. Is always under his nose. He hires a sexy renegade tracker to find an exact yeah. duplicate of his android wife. Yeah, it is. What a what a premise for a movie. It is just so dreadful, and everything is just so ridiculous. But hell, it's worth the watch. Okay, I'll have to take yeah. your word for it, Damo. Okay, well done. Let's move into question time. Is a week long enough for her to learn the dance and be able to perform as well she did, even though she stuffed it a bit? When she performs at night in the different hotel, I put the Shelbourne. Is that what it is? Yeah, the Shelbourne. Shell Drake mm-hmm. or the Shell Shell Drake. Shell Drake. Uh, and is a week enough, Damo? Well, you know, I'm talking to an expert here. Well, you know, like because uh, she's real bad. Yeah. At the start, yeah, she's got nothing. She's got two left feet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's like, real bad. If you're real bad, you're probably not. But like, you know, if you look at Dancing with the Stars, there are absolutely like Oki or someone. Yeah. You know, they've come on and they've actually been able to kind of do a dance a week later but probably not to her level um, but she, she must have had some sort of yeah really some sort of um, background and understanding Mate, to, to rip it out on stage Johnny's just that good Johnny just leading lead he just <laughs> well Shelly stuffs up twice she spins the wrong way and then yeah. she can't do the lift, she doesn't do the lift. And everything else is like pretty good no perfect what yeah. about when she does the thumb yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, improvised. That, that was funny. He, and he chuckled him. He chuckled. He was like, yeah, we're going to roll with it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, all right. Do you think it was commonplace in the 60s for hotel managers to be whoring out his staff to the mega rich? Yeah, it was interesting, wasn't it? Like, go and talk, you know, butter up all the daughters. But, the, yeah. but then the... The hypocrisy of it. I know. Don't talk to the staff. Fuck the staff. Yeah. Don't talk to the staff. <laughs> fuck the staff. <laughs> Old Max yeah. Kellerman. Yeah, he had. Um, what a cockhead Max Kellerman was. He, he was a dick, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Not remember. the biggest dick in the show, though. No, no. But we'll get to that. Yeah. yeah no. Neil. Neil wasn't much better. No, he's still not the big. No. The next. I don't think. No, probably not. Yeah. All right, moving on. Okay. So Johnny, he's supposed to be twenty-five. Yeah. Baby, seventeen. It's a hefty age gap. It's a hefty age gap. Yeah. And, cause, and, and now, that yeah. deserves to be a little bit concerned. Oh, massively. Well, she's going into college, so she she could have been 18, though. 17 going on 18. Yeah. But, but he's 25 going on 37. Mate, he, but he just definitely looked so much older. Yeah. He just looked like this man that's just come out and there's this little, you know, because she she was called Baby. She really did look like a, a young kid. Yeah. Or a... Young adult, anyway, and he, he just—they look really different. Mm. It's an interesting dynamic. Yeah, it was the, I, only again through the two of them they could get away with it. Like, but it was yeah. It, when you when you look at it in <laughs> yeah. that relationship, it's not great. Okay, so then the final question: Do we think that Johnny and Penny ever boned? No. They they say that in there. They've been friends since they were kids. So they're just professional relationship. Yes, I think so. They've been best friends forever. Okay, righto. Supposedly, but the way they dance, you wouldn't dance Mates. like that with someone with your with your you know grinding the grind city. He, you, you don't. You're not in charge of what's going on. No, like you don't. But you're getting a boner after all eight seconds. That. Yeah, that's the thing. They're all it's doing. It's not that. like yeah. I'm going to grind you. I have yeah. it. You come. I'm going to grind you. Just, yeah. There'd be a lot of pants coming. <laughs> I think so. A lot of pants coming. Okay, there we go. The good, the bad. And the ugly. Uh, I'm going to start with you, G-Man. Uh, what do you got for good? I'm going to bounce through a few quick ones here. Go for it. Gonna... Bounce on. Is that Sound... your word of the day? Bounce on. I like it. Yep. It's not agree today. It's bounce. Want to move? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Want to move a little? I'm bouncing. <laughs> um, <laughs> the soundtrack, particularly Hungry Eyes. Mm-hmm. She's like the wind. We, we've mm-hmm. been through that. Yeah. Swayze's hair is epic <laughs> in this. It is so awesome. Yeah. He's oh. got the little bit of the long back, but he's got it styled oh, in at the really, back. It's, got, it's like yeah. the it's real dovetail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really Fonzie. good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I I liked his hair. Apparently, his back is really good too. His oh, his back when they're dancing oh, that, that comes straight yes. from my wife. Yes, right. so. he's got a nice back. Yeah. yeah, he's got a really nice well, back. I've, I've, sounds like your brother. She had a nice back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you don't see back scenes in movies, that's so, so you got to yeah. look at yeah. twisting, contorting. Apparently, is where he's best with his back. Mm, very. Um, Thanks, we, Chrissy. We touched on it. We touched on it for the tap dancing conductor. Oh yeah! Oh, jeez, he nailed. He kills it. Smash it out. Dancing. Didn't he? No sheet notes for the music. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, built like morgues. 
<laughs> Carrot Morgs. <laughs> he was. He, not like old. Tall, Morgs. slender. Uh, not like, Fat Morgs. Not Fat Morgs. Nah, we miss Fat, fat Morgs. He's olive oil from Fat Morgs. Boy. Fat Boy. Morgs was a good bloke. He was a good bloke. <laughs> this new Morgs, fuck yeah. with. <laughs> fat Morgs always ring you back. <laughs> fat Morgs was a good bloke. Yeah. He, he worked for your friendship. He actually yeah. put something in. Yeah. Yeah. This guy thinks he's too cool. This guy's just mm. on the land. Oh, he's just a wanker. Um, I had Jerry, oh, sorry, uh, Jake Hausman. How good, a, how good a golfer is he? How good a putter is he? Mate, he just doesn't miss. He just smashes two in a hole. The dad. The dad. Oh, Jerry right. Orbach. Yes, yes, yes. I thought he was Chevy Chase from Caddyshack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh Billy, Billy, Billy. <laughs> Billy, Billy, Billy. <laughs> what about? Billy, Billy, Billy. What about? Ah, why can't I do it? Yeah, you're not aligned right. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> just shut up. Just, yeah. <laughs> Don't even look in. Yeah, yeah, you're not aligned. Yes, but that was that was my good. I'll leave it there. Very nice. Damo, take it away. Well, we did double up on a few things, but I'll just talk about Patrick Swayze again. Women love Patrick Swayze. Oh, yeah. Like from the opening when when they go, oh, who's that? It's Johnny Castle. He's got his sunnies on. He's got his leather jacket over, you know, he's holding it over his shoulder. And he just walks in and just dominates. He just, honestly, the presence is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, oh shit, that's you, you know the name, he, Johnny Castle. Do you know what he doesn't do the whole movie? Smoke. Smile. Oh, smoke. smoke. I fully anticipated Johnny would be a smoker. Would have a dairy, or at least chewing on a match. Yeah, he was missing yeah. something. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Um, Super cool. But I did, and we, we mentioned it, just the scene with, with Penny and Baby dancing together. Oof. Jeez, yeah, that, it's was, a good, it's a good, that was great. It's a good scene. It was, and they're both like just wearing the slinkiest oh, yeah. little gear. And it's a definite three-way going on after yeah, that. it's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. But other than that, yeah, obviously the soundtrack. Oh, the soundtrack's hard to go past. Yeah. I've got Swayze's a legend. Again, I've already mentioned it. The staff quarters. It's the place to be. Mm. Apparently no one works at night. It's just an all-night party. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, so I think the, the first time that they dance, when he, she goes to the staff quarters and she does the, I, I carry the oh, watermelon, yeah, yeah, yeah. and she's so bad. Yes, I, just, I thought that was really cute. Yes. That was really cool. Uh, I, I, lo I <laughs> love- then, then he brushed her. He just walked off yeah, and she's brushed her. Still standing yeah, on the dance floor. Yeah. So then uh, one of my favourite parts of the whole movie comes towards the end, the dad, right? So, so Lisa, what are you going to sing in the show? And then he just gets up and walks away as she's going to try to tell him. He just gets up and walks off. I'm like, and she thinks she's daddy's girl. She ain't daddy's girl. You know, you know. I just thought that was awesome. I loved the towel on the door. Yes. Yeah. What did that indicate? That indicate there was rooting going don't, down. Yeah, don't right. come knocking. Yeah, it was like, like having disturbed. a sock on the door. Yeah. I knew that. How didn't she know that? How well, I didn't know the international language of towel oh, on the door. Yeah. How, if he put the towel on the door and he knows he's got a guest in there, which he's not supposed to have yeah. in his quarters. Did he not lock the door? Yeah. Maybe there were no it's locks. A bit sloppy. Yeah. A bit sloppy. Yeah, oh, come quarters. on, mate. Come on. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get technical here. The lake jump where they're practicing the lake. Yeah. Beautiful shot. The lighting right. is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, okay. The whole thing is, you can tell that's when they're falling in. That's that's when it's happening. Mm. Like they're falling in love. But the shot, the, it's such a beautiful setting. Yeah. That lake is incredible. Uh, and I've got the ending is pretty fucking good. Yeah. Happy. Uh, well, just, I actually got a little fucking teary. Oh, did you? At the end when the, uh, the time of my life came on. Yep. And they started dancing. And when she, when he, Rushed, like waved to her to come forward for the leap. For the leap, I actually started to get a little bit emotional. And then, it, that, well, it turned into Zion at the end there. Too. Oh, for sure, it did. It was just everyone was getting it. Yeah, it was game just on. Stand up, it's Zion, yeah. full on, just dancing. Even yeah. the oldies, everyone. Yeah. Anyway, that's my good. Uh, bad, G Man. Firstly, how big are the watermelons? They were massive. massive. They were the biggest things ever. They were um, fused with elephant balls yeah. or something to grow them that big. Oh, elephant nuts. How was he is? carrying three? Of I them? know. Impossible. But anyway, that scene when they walk up. So we talk, you've talked about going to the staff quarters. They're out the front on the bridge talking just down from the staff quarters. You can't hear a thing. You go inside yeah. and the music is absolutely yeah, blaring. Yeah, and they're not supposed to be doing party. any of this stuff. Yeah, but uh, but you can't hear any music but outside. it's incredible soundproofing in the 60s. Yeah, it must be good. <laughs> I was going to yeah. say. Couple of they've got a lot of eggshells. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. with everyone else being quiet, you, that music would be racing for miles. Yeah, but, yes. um, I had that. I just... The other thing I was like, if you're a professional dancer or a semi-professional, you know, dancing at a resort and helping people, do you just have dance parties? Do you just get up and like have dirty dancing parties or not? No one's standing around having a drink. There's no alcohol no. there. Everyone's just up. Grinding. 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 Do you know, grinding. Do you know, I, love, session. Do you know I love the best is when they rock in and they, the circle just falls. Yeah. It's just known. They just own that. They own that. Yeah. That's yep. their dance floor. Yep. It's murder. I just, yeah, just don't know. If in your spare time, you go, oh, we've had a whole day here. Like, 
Do you guys want to do some dirty dancing? Yeah, let's <laughs> yeah. just dirty dance. Yeah. Should we? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, I'm up for it. And everyone. Everyone's got a partner. Partnered yeah. up perfectly. Everyone. It's perfect. And, yeah. and for the time, pretty diverse. Yeah. Mm. Yep. But and the reason, yeah, the reason they could do diverse, they're, they're the help. They're workers, yeah. They're the help. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God. Um, look, the other one I had was when she goes and gets Dr. Jake Hausman. He's got his doctor bag just right there next to him. Yeah, yeah he's what ready to go. He's what just a ripper. What does a doctor keep in his doctor bag? Doctor stuff. He just like he just gets up and he's oh, I've got my big bag here full of doctor things that I take home. Uh, he had well, he injected it with some sort of uh, yeah. antibiotic yeah. or something. Whatever he had worked. Yeah. Mm. I just he had a massive bag. I don't he's know ready what, to go. what it's full of. Ready yeah. to go. <laughs> I did laugh at her getting the scopes. luggage out of the car at the start and the second bag to come out to the doctor bag. Right. But yeah. Okay. We get to, you're a doctor. Yeah. yeah okay. Yep, that'll do. Okay, demo. Well, she spent a lot of nights in Johnny's cabin. The parents had absolutely no idea. Mate, they were bad parents. She, she was like, well, where's the daughter? They were bad parents. She's gone. Yeah. They didn't even know. She just said she was going to play charades in the West Lobby. <laughs> All night. All night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play statues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Fucking pre-pubescent teen. <laughs> I'm going to play nude statues with Johnny. Yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> We're doing the horiz- horizontal mumba. <laughs> but uh, old mate uh, Robbie, who was the help, you know, the waiter. Oh, what yeah. a dick. And he's talking to baby. And oh, by the way, here's this book I just happened to have in my oh, back my pocket. Fountain the, the Fountainhead, mm. yeah. which is like a really thick book. Does he carry that on yeah. him all the time just in case someone asks him for something? I might yeah. just stick the Lord of the Rings in my back it's part pocket. of his shtick. It was really odd, wasn't it? He just rips the novel out of the back pocket. Yeah, he goes, well, makes a quote like, like, like and he goes, you? read this. Yeah. yeah. Like, you got that just in your pocket right now. I'll be like, fuck off, Robbie. <laughs> yeah, Dead shit. I know. Um, the, you know how there's that subplot with the um, the oldies that steal the wallets? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's not the subplot. It's just the end. It's the alibi. Part. It's the alibi or, at the end, yeah. But how do they get the water glasses fingerprinted, sent to the FBI to find out the culprits are wanted in three states and yeah. get the results back, like, within a day? But hang on, mate. They were there a week. It's like they were there for seven months. Yeah, I know. Like, let's be honest. That's a, time stood still on the Catskills. Yeah, I know. No, yeah. but they were, overall, they were there for three weeks. Was it that long? Yes, the, the week before the first dance, but they were all there. Because remember at the start of the movie, he says, we've got three weeks here. Okay. Yeah, okay. so that, the build-up to the end of it was the three weeks. Three weeks, there. all right, yeah. Okay. Right, okay. Um, well... The, once again, but the watermelon, no one cut it up. What'd they do with it? What was it for? Who's gonna get? Who was going to cut that shit up? Mate, You'd be there for an hour. I didn't see any chainsaws. <laughs> no, I know. Well, no one's going to do it. They're all grinding. They yeah, I know. Watermelons. But, but those types of resorts, like the Kellerman's resorts, like fast forward to the 90s and 2000s, many of those resorts, they call it in the Borscht Belt, in the Catskills, they're all sitting abandoned. Yeah. Like it was, it was, it was dying. And even Max Kellerman said it. Yes. It's well, dying. Yeah. yeah. This is dying. Why would I, why would kids, kids want to come and- 22 countries in three days. Yeah. Go to Please. Europe. Where are you going? Yeah, I know. Fuck but it, yeah, bro. anyway, that's what that's my bad. Okay, I have for bad the age difference. I really couldn't get over it. He just looked way too old. He was too old. He, he was just the, he was way the too old. Perfect guy for the oh. part, except his age. Yes, yeah. He just looked way too old. Yeah, uh, and I get it. I got their chemistry. I got everything. He just looked old. Uh, Mate, what about him leering at her in the back of the car? Well, in the um, yeah, we're getting changed. changed. He's, oh. leer, he's leering out in the back. I think we'd all do the same thing. Get the rear view <laughs> mirror. Leer. Just she had her pants on too. Like, yeah. please. Yeah. Uh, Kellerman's in general. Pretty much anyone that works at Kellerman's is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, actually, the Patrick Swayze's cousin, the little guy, at the he's beginning. the best bloke. He's yeah. actually a good he's bloke. He's the best bloke in the yeah. whole movie. But everyone else, the manager, Penny's, the manager, Penny's not a dick. Penny's not a dick. Yeah, she loves it though. Uh, <laughs> Neil, they, they suck. Neil, Robbie, they suck. Max, and not only that, what a shit holiday! I know. What a shit holiday! I'm going to go somewhere and I'm going to be under the gazebo learning to do the freaking uh, conga. Yeah, that, like I know we're starting easy. The conga. Yeah, yeah, Easy. yeah. We're going to teach you to dance. Just, We're going to do the conga. Hold the hips <laughs> yeah, and just I, walk behind. Yeah. Right? Shit holiday. Well, mate, they were working their way up to the pachanga. <laughs> yes, right? that's right. At the end of season. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I, did, 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 is that what rich people did? They went to these resorts and like hung out and, and played a little bit of tennis and you know, did, did arts and crafts <laughs> yeah, and arts stuff? Yeah, arts and crafts. I, I don't and, know. Yeah, I know. It doesn't seem like a whole lot of fun for, well, what's baby 17? Their oldest has got to be, what, 19? Yeah. Yep. 19 and 20. Slut. Yep. But why is she? Why are they going to want to go there? They, yeah. they wouldn't want to go there. Well, they're going there to 
it's, uh, get their freak on. It's not. I mean, it's it's just on this river. It's not that, mate. <laughs> with your parents, with old, oh, like, it's just a place for old people. Terrible holiday. Mm. Terrible. Uh, okay, and I've got Jennifer Grey. Poor dental hygiene. Oh, she had know. so many fillings in her teeth. I think when she's laughing, she puts her head back and she's laughing, and there was about eight fillings. Yeah, I've, I've got poor a few. dental hygiene. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a close look. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, I'm looking noticed. for things. Not much bad in this movie, to be honest, no. which is, you know, a bit sad. Mm. Got a couple ugly though. G-Man, you got anything for ugly? Yeah, I got one. I noticed in the movie that um, the reason they're there and they're the the guests of honor is because Doctor Houseman had saved. Max yes. Kellerman's life. He said he was a cardiologist. He'd saved him. Yep. It, ah. But then there he is at breakfast smoking a cigar. Yeah, right. And then he picks up the Danish. He's like, oh, it's full of protein. Yeah. And his doctor's just like <laughs> looking at him. Yeah, go for it, mate. Yeah, yeah just save your life. Yeah, just saved your life. Right. Wish he died. Yeah. Damo, anything for ugly? Well, I just, the stupid scene, which was so irrelevant, the lock the keys in the car, I'm going to smash my back window. W- what's the point of that there, scene? There was no point of that scene because I was thought maybe there's going to be something with the hole in the glass or something. It's There's no reason for him just to go and open the car and then drive off. It's to show Johnny's a badass. It yeah, so how industrious he is. Yeah. Just, That's it. Just, there is no and, part and to and it. And it actually showed no point to it. how stupid he was. Does it? Do you think it might, it might be... Uh, to sort of show or symbolise the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, 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 no, I, I, the, po- the post I, through the window. I am not sure whether this will make the final cut, but is it supposed, to, <laughs> but is it supposed to symbolise the, uh, the breaking of the hymen? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what it is, yeah. and it's 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 deep. It's an, it's a whole level. That's it's a huge post. Yeah. Yeah. It's a huge it post. Is. It takes him a while to kick it out and whatever. It's like this scene is. Ridiculous. It's not. It's not used. It's not. No. no. There's no use for it. There's no use for it. Okay, I got a couple. Lisa, the sister, sucks. She's an awful human being. Very good singer. <laughs> well, no. And, dance. <laughs> and the song and dance at the end caps it off. Do you know she actually she co-wrote that song? Yeah. That's yeah, actually yeah. the original song for the uh, you terrible. Can tell. She sucks. She there's a bit of silver lining when they're both broken and they sort of yeah connect, yep. which is what she should have been the whole time. Yeah, she sucks. Ugly backyard abortions. Oh, oh that was horrible, horrid, horrible yeah. scene. Yeah. Horrible scene, and must have been at the time pretty confronting. Like mm. it's confront. I watched it last night, going, "Wow, yeah. like they've gone there." Yeah, I know. Like they, could, I thought that. Yeah, and him going, he went at it with rusty tools, and and it was really graphic. I remember watching it when I was young and being confronted by that, and going, "Wow, that's that's crazy." Yeah, yeah. Like you, you just you don't know about that kind of stuff, and that's the sort of introduction no. you had to like, yeah, no. you know, full on. So yeah, anyway, that's it for good, the bad, and the ugly. We finished that one on a real high note. <laughs> uh, Demos, quick fire. Right. Well, we'll start with the lookalikes, um, the Morgs, Carl Morden, Skexis. Uh, anyone? I I'm going to go Morgs. <laughs> of course, Jennifer Grey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hair and conk. Oh, similar hair. Similar hair. Similar hair. Not the same. Like no, more, more just smashes her in the nose. But if you she, know, if she put if she put a like a, a cowboy hat on, she look right like absolutely. Morgs. Yeah, yeah. from so a it, distance. Did you have any look like scale? Yeah, Morgs and the conductor. We already went through it. Yeah, <laughs> ah, no, that's right. Skinny, skinny, skinny got, Morgs. Any, any Morgs? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've got a Morgs. I think if you we shoot thirty years into the future, Jerry Orbach. I oh, think he's got that saggy face, 100%. a bit of a honk as well. Yeah, yeah. I think that could be Dan. Definitely Jerry, could Jerry be Jerry Elbeck was probably 50 in this movie. 52. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to say he was 52. I'm going to say he looked okay, 76. He? Yeah. They looked so much older, didn't they? So much older. Well, Swayze was eight years younger than his wife Yeah, than the, in the, the movie, wife, yeah. the mum. Right, yeah. yeah. She was 45. Yeah, she was good, the mum. The mum is good. She just pulls her. him in the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did like her. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's not a knife. A scene or scenes that have. Oh, hang on. Didn't we change this to the Matrix now? Well, anyway. Ah, yeah, it's all right. For, yeah, we can. Uh, Passing into popular culture. We did Come actually. On, there is, yes, there is definitely a few here. Nobody puts baby in the corner. That's yeah. the number one. Well, number can one. we just say it's a corner? It's not the. Uh, nobody puts baby in a corner. Yeah, I know. But I always thought it was the until yeah, well, I watched it. That's what everyone miss says. Yeah, right? I know. Um, um, yeah. Anything else? Time of my life. The song. Uh, totally. Mate, yep. uh, dirty dancing. Dirty had a dancing. Moment. It's dirty dancing itself. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, everybody everybody did that. Yep. Yeah. That was. Yep. The, that was the thing everyone wanted to do. If you're at the Jet Club. Yeah. Even in the nineties, and you go and saunter up on a on a bird. Yep. 
what, and, game you, on. and ask you for a lift? Did you do the lift? And not many of them could get me up. <laughs> I think the lifts passed passed over into popular culture. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the yeah. lift. Oh, there's heaps. There's heaps in this. It's, yes, it's definitely. A, yeah. Okay. Well, this is. There's a bit of a battle here for the uh, Philip Stuckey Award for the biggest douchebag. I reckon. I reckon it's pretty hotly contested. Robbie Gould. Oh well, definitely. Yeah, definitely. has to be Robbie. Ro- Robbie. Yeah. He. There's a lot of dicks. He's next level. He yeah, is. he's not and, good at all. No, nah, and even the fact that he then sort of gloats to the dad at the oh, end about at the end. Oh, you know, thanks for helping me I with know. that. You know, and he's and that was we've, funny when he takes all, the money. Yeah. We've all done these things. Like, yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah. Uh, it's all good. And like, just a tool, an absolute tool of a human being. He, he, he's without doubt the number one. But there's honourable mentions. I think oh, there's there's all the way through Max and, and Kellerman. Yeah, yeah. All in the backs. Yeah, there's there's a lot of them. What about when he comes around the corner and goes, Ah, oh, see, you're slumming it as well. Yeah, like he's just yeah, right. Just nothing good about. You could also say. The, the the rich bitch that dobs the tries yeah, to yeah I know frame. the hornbag mum yeah, yeah my pressman uh, Mrs Pressman she was a real mole it's mm. fair set of cans on her yeah I know so the mum in the movie was supposed to play that role oh. and then the lady that was doing it got sick so in the first scene when they drive in the car you can see the blonde lady in the car and no, that's her but right. she got sick and had to pull out so then they Swapped. she got the role as the mum and then that other lady came oh, in to be the, right. the horny housewife yeah. she was super <laughs> was it Max, horny was that Max's wife was it Max uh, no it wasn't Max it, no, was, it, was, uh, no, it wasn't Max it whatever was uh, Pressman the guy that came yeah. in it was yeah. the multi yeah, yeah the multi he only yeah. Come, he only's he's there on the weekend card, yeah. the card guy plays cards all night yeah, yeah. yeah you give another uh, dance you know listen <laughs> That is really good, that because Isabel in that scene was like, he's not going to do that, is he? And then when she goes and he gave the money yep. back, she was like, yeah. <laughs> and then baby's up the back. Yep. She's baby was like, yeah, that's what you're getting. dropping. Get yep. your old flange out. Yeah. <laughs> get some tight flange in here. Uh, this is a tough one. Jennifer Jason Leaf from Backdraft, or a cast of Caddyshack. Someone that didn't really get the vibe of the film or the, thought they were in a different movie. I don't think there's much. They're all pretty good. No. The only, the only thing I was thinking, you know, the good bloke, the cousin, I can't even think of what his name yeah. was. When we first met him, when he was, he looked like he was going to be an asshole. Like he was perving at the sisters and mm. and, and then he turned out to be a top, as soon as he opened his mouth, he was a good guy. Good I guy. just thought, oh, they kind of looked like they set him up as a tool. And then in actual fact, he's kind of the best bloke that works there. Who is that? Oh, the... the the cousin, the cousin. The cousin. Pat's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Is yeah. it Chet? What's his name? I don't know. Can't remember. Chet sounds like a Chet? good name. Yeah, it, I don't think it was, but yeah, I was gonna get it could that be name. a chat. All right. Okay, the Ripley running, the Kim Mills or the Olivia Newton-John um, cartwheel in Greece for poor sporting prowess. Yep. They, I think there could be a couple. There's of a couple here. here. What do you got, Gow? Oh, I, don't, I don't have anything for it. Okay. I don't have anything for it. Why do you got? There's a scene when they pan to the Oval and there's people playing games and they go to volleyball. The oh. people playing volleyball are... Pathetic. Oh, they're just extras trying to Pathetic. hit a ball. Pathetic. Right. It, it reminded me of the Braveheart sword fights where you can see in the back they're just ching. ching, like, ching. It's like with cardboard swords, yeah, like yeah, at yeah. like with, 5%. With pool, pool noodles. Yeah. And yeah. so that's what their volleyball was like, except they were front and centre of the scene. Yeah. Pathetic. I, I thought... Um, in the conga dance lesson. I don't know if you saw Blue Socks Guy. Yes. Yes, mention him straight away. He reminded me of Green Shirt from Greece. Yes. Oh, Give me his 15 just minutes. Blue phone. Socks Guy. A, a Green Shirt from Greece could have gone really well in here. Like, okay. Just Th- There you go. Leads to the th- additional scene. <laughs> Oh, that's what I was thinking. What do we need? Green shirt guy. Green shirt. Yeah, yeah. we need green shirt guy. Imagine him. Just Imagine coming him across. At the end, yeah. yeah like in the crowd. Green yeah. shirt guy to come out. Just doing da, his da, moves. Da, da, when the guy's doing the, the <laughs> saxophone and the trumpet. Yeah. That da, would, da, 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 you da, know what? Da, 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 da. That would have been the greatest cameo yeah. in the history of movies. And he just comes into and he's Groucho Mark. <laughs> he's, he's, he's duck walk. <laughs> Well, that's the only additional scene that yeah, I could think I'm of. With saying just, we want green shirt. Green shirt guy. May, or maybe him to come and punch out blue socks guy. I want it at the end. I want, I want. No, what I want is I want the big ending where it's just Johnny and the team come down the aisle and they do it. And then when those two women start to dance, Green Shirt Guy just cuts in. It's all about him then. <laughs> yeah. It's just all about Green Shirt yeah. Guy. That would have been a brilliant way. Yeah, I oh, know. He just gives it a, a wah, ba, ba, loo, ba. <laughs> And they fly away in their car. Um, right. um, okay, so Whitey's Brad Pitt. Now, I've got to come up with a new uh, euphemism. Someone that you would like to the to take to the house of Twinings and teabag them. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to teabag, gal? Uh, on the rewatch, Cynthia Rhodes. Mm. I never watched this and thought, 
that she was incredibly good looking and in this movie she really is. Like, she is unbelievable. She's really worth stunning. a teabag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who'd you teabag? Uh, look, I'm going, I'm surprisingly Jennifer Grey. I went the whole okay. movie thinking it's going to be Cynthia Rhodes <laughs> or even the sister, but I thought, nah. I'm going English, English breakfast dunk. You're going to Jennifer Grey. You're going the Earl Grey. Too I'm bad. going the Earl Grey. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Boom. I am I am going the Boom. Earl Grey. Okay, Earl Grey is yeah. a good call. No, I think I, I watched um, the Rosanna film clip again from Toto. Oh, yes. And I, I, I can't go past Cynthia Rhodes. So you and I, yeah. Gal, are going to be doing t- doubles. <laughs> it's a double dunk. <laughs> it's a double dunk. <laughs> double bagging. <laughs> And uh, Uh, that's pretty much it for Quickfire. That is it. Okay, then. Listen to this G-Man. Take it away. All right, got a good little one here for you. In the movie, Damo, you touched on the car that he smashes the window Mm. on. It's a 57 Chevy. Mm, Great car. Mm. So (laughs) when Swayze's in Point Break... He points to a car with his counter and goes, oh, it looks like a 57 Chevy I used to have. Oh, no way. Yeah, that's cool. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, it's a nice little one. I like that. Uh, look, we've really hit all the things we talked about, the, the age gap here, yep. the, the the falling out between Jennifer Grey and Patrick yep. Swayze and how they had to get they had to get it back together. So the, well, the he, director he and begged, the writer- He begged her. Yeah, he begged her to do it. But then they were falling out during the movie. Like they were, it was getting back to where they were. And then the director and the writer had to get them together and showed them the the um, the dancing scene they did for the casting again. And that got them back on track. So I was like, this is what you were like. Yeah, so yeah. They yeah. had to really pull each other uh, back from that. Um, this movie was the first film to sell a million copies in home video. Yeah, incredible that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, so like when it, it, it um, the move, the, at the movies it was successful, but I think more successful afterwards. Uh, it, yeah. did, it did 60 million initially, and then it was after that, then they. Well, 87 they to 97, video shops are booming. Yeah. Like at 120 bucks a copy no, for yeah. VHS, they are crushing it. Mate, Aussies, and, at, Aussies at DY. Aussies video, one of the best. It. <laughs> Countrywide. <laughs> Once you got rid of the beta section. Yeah. Well, uh, beta was overrated. Megan had a beta. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Not many did. No. I'd like I'd like her to still have it, though. If, if Bob had it in storage somewhere, I'd be pretty excited about that. Okay. Yeah, it'd be a, a relic. It would be. A fossil. It would be. Hmm. They may got anything? Well, yeah, we did touch on a few things, but I just I like the studio that produced and distributed Dirty Dancing, the Vestron Pictures. They plan to release the film in theaters for only a weekend, right? And and then and then basically send it straight to home video since they had originally been in the home video distribution business long before entering film production. This surprised them. Well, it surprised like, everyone. It, it did. It just totally. Oh, hang on, this is actually good. Let's keep it going. Yeah. But the plan was yes. Home video. Yep. There was so when you go through nineteen eighty seven um, movies, you know, like when you do your hit sleeper dud. Yes. The amount of them you go video, 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 straight to video, video, video. There's so many, and lots of them, you know, shows that you all seen. So they like, thought this might be a straight to video. Well, uh, just one weekend was the yeah. plan, and then, and then, and then, and then straight to video. video. Yeah, but it just killed it because obviously video then was established. But also, they would have released the film clip. To the song, yeah, with the footage, yep, and that would have just people would have been like, "Holy shit!" Yeah. And that first weekend would have been well, was, and they it did grew four million, three point right nine million, yeah. right? Yeah. So off for six million budget. So obviously, yeah. then they go, well, "Hang on, like we're yep." Well, they we're just, on here, yeah. Well, they just thought you, you had to be a fool to believe, yeah, yep, and just that, a fool to believe, yeah. just a fool, yeah. She's like the wind. Okay, hold it. <laughs> oh, I had another one. Sorry, um, there there is a story. I don't know how true it is that. Um, that in the in the love scene that Jennifer Grey originally there was a nude scene. I did yes, read that. Yes. Yeah, and that then, should have been an and additional then they, scene. They screen tested it and it got cut out because it didn't it didn't test well. Yeah, but apparently that it's not in it's not in any of the re-releases or any of the you know. Additional yeah, no, footage. It, was, it got destroyed. And and apparently yeah. it's never been found again. Yeah. So any of that footage, it's a shame. Yeah, it is. I like a bit of nudity here on Born yeah, to Watch. Yeah, because even the Patrick Gratuitous. Gratuitous. Yeah, <laughs> but I I thought there was more butt in the shot than it's more side butt. Mate, there's hardly anything. I, th- I, I thought I remembered it was like a full a moonlit butt shot, mm. <laughs> Mel Gibson no, that's, style. That's Roadhouse. Road yeah. That's yeah. Roadhouse. Yeah. 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 his roof scene. He gets yeah. both cheeks out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. It was you like can almost was... see the base of his sack. It's just yeah. a bit of side butt. Yeah. Well, you're, mm. you're a big side guy. Yeah, I know. Okay, so Swayze insisted on doing all his stunts. <sighs> Tom Cruise. Yeah, we've, we've come through Tom Cruise hanging on the side of a plane, jumping off... 50,000 feet cliffs, uh, doing a lot of halo jumping, all this kind of stuff. 
Swayze kept falling off the log. Off the log, the log yeah, scene the log, hurt yep. his knee. <laughs> knee had to be drained. Jeez. Well, you know what? That log was fairly high up. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it was a really ridiculous place to practice dancing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, th- there was a story, because we covered this in Roadhouse, I think, because he hurt his knee doing it, and that's why he turned down Tango and Cash. Yes, And he right. turned down the role of Mike Harrigan in Predator What, because his knee was injured? Yeah, because he hurt his knee so bad in the movie that he, he didn't want to do it, right? In the sex scene. Oh, no, sorry, no, that was in Roadhouse. No, that was he in Roadhouse. He hurt his knee, he sorry, fucked no, himself no, in Roadhouse. Yeah. I think getting, he heard he's it. getting injured everywhere. I think he heard it here, and then he, then he did more, but that's why he couldn't do something. That's why he ended up doing Ghost, Yeah, because he couldn't do those just, action movies. Just had to sit behind Demi Moore and, and play with the clay. And yeah. Make, yeah, make some pots. But uh, probably one of the best, you know, switch-ups he did there. Definitely, mm. definitely. So the rehearsals quickly became parties themselves with everyone dancing. So that scene you see, we see at the staff quarters, that was legitimately happening on, see, on, on set. That they'd end up, they'd be rehearsing. The next thing, the piss had come out. All right, and they just did. It just end up being a party. Zion, yeah, it was Zion. Yep. Yeah, definite, definite Zion. But apparently, yeah, the the director then then forbade them from going near each other for the for the duration because he wanted them to obviously keep up the tension. R- right, right, right yeah. trying to keep up the tension. Yeah. Yep, not sure how successful that. They would weren't be. allowed to have sex. They had to hold off for six yeah, months. That's and what then I'm it saying. Was just come contest. <laughs> grind. <laughs> the grind of work. Uh, did you know that? Uh, the crew had to make up Cynthia Rhodes for the uh, when she's sick, when she's had the abortion. She comes and she's dealing with the agony scene. She still looked too good, so they had she actually made oh, her, make her with too, no too makeup on. She was too, too still too good looking. Yeah. So had to make her, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is you know. Look, no, apparently too they had to. Um, Patrick Swayze had to had to dance it down a little. In yeah, well, he was yeah because he he's was, too good. He's too and, good, and he's not supposed to be compared a, to the others. Well, he's not supposed to be a professional dancer, right? He's oh. a, he's a dancer at this thing, so he's actually too good. So he had to sort of just. What? Play yeah, it down love, a bit. I love that you just said. Then he had to dance it down. Dance it down. It's like really that? good. Yeah, yeah. really good. Mm. Dirty dance. Uh, he he. You know, he wore a girdle. Yeah. To look thinner and younger. Oh, did he? Now, I don't know how, because he had his shirt off for 85% of the fucking movies, <laughs> yeah. right? So he must have but worn in a those, girdle yeah, when in he the, in, in. in the slick black pants. Yeah. He was looking, yeah, yeah, mighty slim. Yeah. Anyone got anything else for listening to this? No. No. Okay. Quotables. Uh, Damo. I don't think I have any. Oh, apart from the only the only thing I like was when the mum said she gets it from me when she yes. saw Jennifer Grey yeah. having a bit of a dance up yeah. the top there. The other sister gets it from the dad. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> shocking. <laughs> yeah, I, that's about it. I had two, and one was obviously, I have to say it, I'm known as the catch of the county. Oh, that, that, was, that, was, that was probably the best line <laughs> that, of the movie. That yeah. was great. The, the other one was when they were, when the, when, um, baby first goes back to the to the um, where they're dancing in their in their rooms and um and they're talking about her doing the dancing for the show and then Johnny goes to her you want to do it want to take some time out from Simon Says <laughs> I was like <laughs> just cuts her down oh yeah, yeah that's a burn uh, I've got and this is like a bit of a uh, an ode to Dan Morgan Johnny speaking to uh, to baby look spaghetti arms. <laughs> <laughs> this is, frame. So this is my dance you, space. This is your dance space. Yeah, you know, I don't go into yours. You don't go into mine. You got to hold the frame. Yep. Spaghetti arms, which it's it's that's actually upselling Morgs because he's two minute noodle arms. Oh right. Yes. And then when Johnny first walks well, walks in and Robbie's there, you just put your pickle on everybody's plate, college boy, and leave the hard stuff to me. Yep. And what he was doing is Robbie was putting his pickle on a lot Every of plates. Plate. Yep. He was. He yep. was going all right. Yep. He, he was going he all right. right. Harvard Law student, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, was medical. medical? Med. Yeah. Med. I also liked, um, I carried a watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> and then she goes, carried a really watermelon. <laughs> so good. It, 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 that's, that's actually a bit of an iconic line too. Yeah. Because it really shows her, because she, yeah. She's from super. That op- from that opening where she, gawky, gawkward, awkward. She's super cute in this movie. She, she does a really I, good I, job of, like we said earlier, of being that naive, oh, playing that naive. It is so hard character. not to get swept up in it. It yeah. is, she's super cute. Yep. Okay. Anything else for Quotables? I think we've no, that's covered it. everything. Film school? Oh. For F wits, and we've got a special guest today, Damo. Take it away. Yeah, this is going to be my debut for film school for F wits. Well, you're on uh, thin ice here, pal. I've promised. I've talked up. I'm, I'm, Perform. I'm, I'm, I've obviously been working on, and I, it's not today, but I'm working on best side dicks in Hollywood and yes. shotgun faces yeah. in Hollywood. But a couple not, of good websites there tonight. This what, is in. What's the website? What's the one where they do the porn stars in um, 
I forget what they call it in Knocked it, Up. In Knocked Up. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and looking, then she, but she goes straight away and goes, haven't you seen Celebrity Skin? <laughs> <laughs> right. It doesn't exist. Damn anymore. it. Yeah. Um, so this is in honour of, so Patrick Swayze's name is Johnny Castle. Um, Johnny. Like Johnny Castle. Like when he rocks in, you go, you know what? If you said to me, what's this bloke's name? If I looked at him, I probably said, his name's probably Johnny Castle. Castle. Yeah. It was, yeah. So this is just in honour of fictional characters called Johnny because it seems to be almost tropey, I think. In yeah. um the lots lots of Johnnies, lots of Johns. And I think obviously inspired by John Bull. Absolutely. Johnny Bull yeah. might be the inspiration for a lot of them. Um but obviously there's Johnny Castle in here. And then I was thinking, you know, like you've got Johnny Lawrence from uh oh, yeah. Good, Good one, good, good one, one, yeah. He's a, he's a he's a very good Johnny, but you know it because there's a song by Nada Surf called Popular, yep, and they talk yep. about Johnny Football Hero. Yes. Because it is it is just sort of that cliched sort of name. Yep. And, you know, if you see Johnny Football Hero in the hall, tell him he played a great game. Tell him he loved him. Whatever. And um, popular. Yeah. But then I think... Um, well, just stopping you there. Yeah. Johnny Utah. Okay. Well, Johnny that's, Utah. Keanu Reeves, okay, is... The king of the Johnnies. Yes. Right. So, oh, can you think of any other Johnny Keanu mnemonic? Reeves? Yep. Anything else? Now, this is a bit tricky, but this is Keanu Reeves in the game Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. <laughs> He's Johnny Silverhand. Oh, Johnny but Silverhand. It, yeah, but but also Keanu. Let's let's forget Johnny. But there's also John. Right. He's John Wick. Yes. Yes. So John he's Wick. he's John Wick in Bram Stoker's Dracula. He's John Harker. Exactly. And you know that John and Jack are also interchangeable? Right. It's a bit of a nickname, isn't it? Jack Traven. Speed. Wow. So Keanu Reeves takes sort of the list, the top of the list, I think. That's, of, a, lot um, of, that's a lot of Johnny's. Johnny's. He's Johnny's. So in Mortal Kombat, there's Johnny Blaze. Yep. What about Ford Fairlane? Johnny Crunch. Yes. Who was Gilbert Gottfried. Yes. And I remember, I remember him saying- That's said, right. He goes to me, you know me, um, I'm Johnny Crunch. I'm, um, I'm the guy that- Fucked your prom date the night before the prom. <laughs> and then Ford Fairlane said later, well, he's lying about the prom date. I took his sister. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's right. They're good mates. Yeah, Johnny they Crunch. Yeah, mates, just before yeah. Johnny Crunch died. Yeah. Um, he gets it, electrocuted at the, uh, at the north. Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's Johnny Storm from the Fantastic Four. Mm. Okay. In The Simpsons, and I don't remember this, but uh, there's Johnny Tight Lips. Johnny Tight Lips? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got uh, Johnny Cage. Uh, oh, yeah. You've got Johnny English. Yes. So Rowan Atkinson's obviously a comedian. He's probably trying to think of a a name that's a funny, typical name, and he's, yeah, perhaps to be Johnny. There's obviously Johnny Bravo. Yeah, yep. Johnny Bravo. Well, Michael Keaton did a movie called Johnny Dangerously. The guy whose yes. name was Johnny Dangerously. Yeah, yep. so 84. Yeah, yeah, that's mm. right. Okay, so then, <laughs> so if we, if we... God, you're good, gal. I oh, can't yeah. believe so how good you are. Besides Johnny, Arnold Schwarzenegger's pretty... Does a few Johns. John Matrix. Yep. John. John. Stick, yep. your, head Stick your head out, John. John. Right. Any other Arnold Schwarzenegger Johns? Oh, he's is he John in End of Days? Uh, no. In Kindergarten Cop. Oh. He's John Kimball. John, John Kimball. Kimball. Yep. Um, is not a tumor. In in Boys a movie penis. called Sabotage. Oh, he's a. Uh, what's his name in that? What? It's a good movie, Sabotage. It is John. But he's got a nickname, Breacher. Breacher. John Breacher. John Breacher. Yeah. So he's John. But and also the if we go the interchange Breacher. as well, he, he's Jack Slater. Ah. In um I can't what the heck um where he's Arnold Braunschweiger. <laughs> you know <laughs> what's that movie with the gold with the ticket they go to the movies? Oh last action hero. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. <laughs> um but obviously then some other just some quick Johns. You got John Connor. Yep. Yeah. You got John McClane. Oh yeah. yeah. And hang on, how could you forget Sylvester Stallone? John Rambo. Of course. John Rambo. What about Johnny Rico? Tombstone. Yep. Right, yes. What about Johnny Drama? Entourage. Yep. Oh, you're going to TV shows, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. You what got about John, more? John Snow. You know nothing, John Well, Snow. true. Yeah, 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 yep. You do. Look, John Snow. I we could end on John Snow because he's, he did First Date Lingus in a cave with a girl who hadn't had a shower for about 14 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, well done, John Snow. Well he done. knew nothing. Yep. Yes. He knew that he shouldn't have been <laughs> licking that. You know nothing, That's what John he knew. Snow. Well, there you go. And that's, that's, that's the Johnny's John and to Jack's. Don't forget Trapper John MD. 
Oh, well, he's oh. one of the best, yeah. The best. A lot of them. It is, it, there is a lot. a lot. So, John Bull, all named after you. All named after Johnny Bull. What a guy. Yeah, and that's film guy. school for F-Wits for well this done, week. Well done, Damo. Good first. Good first. Uh, good on you, Johnny. Mm. We, look, we've done uh, one degree. We got one degree of Quigley, and yeah. we got one degree of Kurt Russell. It's incredible doublehead. Very loose one degree. Hey, we make the rules. Yeah. And look, a bit like Grease here, where it's hard to do a kick-ass credit song for a movie that with such a dynamic soundtrack. Mm -hmm. So we're going to leave that, but we might have something special for you towards the end of the episode. Anyway. Oh, we're going to finish it on something different? Well, we might. Maybe the... We're going to do a laugh finish? Maybe the Pachenga? <laughs> we're going to do the Pachenga. <laughs> Pachenga. Okay. Star of the show. We're here already. G-Man, who you got? Oh, I'm going. I'm going with Patrick Swayze on this. Got to go. It's going to be hard. This could be a full house here. Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, he just he just nails this. He he really runs this whole movie, doesn't he? Like he, he as you said, Damon, yep. when he first walks in, he's just got the stage presence. He's got yeah. it all, and he, he just nails the role. Like he's he's the perfect perfect person in this role. And this yep. is just when he's yep. really becoming. a He's superstar. about to leap into yeah. the. So it's, it's definitely P. Swayze for me. Yeah. Peace ways. Yeah. Damo? Yep. Uh, I'm going for the Swaz as well. And I, I just think, I just know that women, you know, when you talk about you know, men with sex appeal or whatever, uh, Patrick Swayze has to be so high up on the list. Definitely. Um, and uh, yeah, and he's, his presence was just powerful. It was like, man, this bloke is just the yeah. star of the show. Like, without doubt, he's yeah. the star. Yeah. I don't think the movie works without him. I think he's such a force and he just grabs your attention from the first second you see him and it's you can't look away. And it, he's by far and away the best part of this movie, by far and away. Yep. And Jennifer Grey is really good. She is. But he is so much better than her in this movie. Yep. So it's a three from three here. Yep. Uh, okay. I've got to say, I, this, I enjoyed this rewatch a lot more than I thought I would. And having only seen it a handful of times, which is rare for me, it was like I was seeing it for the first time again anyway. It's going to be interesting. We're getting to the rank bank about how this is going to rank. Got a couple choices for us here. Shithouse Holidays. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Daddy's Girls. Yeah. Horny Dance Teachers. Kleptomaniac senior oh, citizens. Yeah. Relationships doomed to fail. Shit sisters. Mm -hmm. They're what I've got. What about lifts? <laughs> it could be um, dancing lifts. Yeah, it's or dance lifts. lifts. Or uh, catch of the county. Um, oh, it could be catches <laughs> of the catch county. The county. It could be yeah, catches of the county. Catches of the county. This is what we're going. Okay. Pachangas. How many catches of the county are you giving? Dirty Dancing, Demo. Well, I, I'm not going to give it that higher mark. I know that it, it's it's absolutely loved this movie, and it's at the top of the list of a lot of people. It just unfortunately, it isn't for me. I found it yeah, a little bit cheesy. I, I do like a good happy ending, but I'm just going <laughs> to give it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give it two point five. Wow. Catches of the county. Yes. Okay. Okay. Controversial. Well, that's you know, that's half half. It's it's a, it's a movie I enjoyed, but I just did G not. G man, what are you giving? How many catches of the county are you giving? Dirty Dancing. That's yeah, Damo. Wow, I didn't think too much <laughs> for that. Hey, that's that's your yeah, thoughts that's on. That's why we do know? it. That's why we do it. Um, look, I really enjoyed the rewatch of this. I've seen it so many times. It's a good fun movie to watch. I watched it with my wife. Um, it may have had something to do with the bottle of the Colonel and the Merchant that I had in me, the red, <laughs> bottle of red. But um, really enjoyed it. I'm going to give it three point five catches Ooh, of the county. Ooh, okay, mm. yes, good score there. All right, look. As I said before, I enjoyed this a lot more than what I anticipated to. I really thought I would be picking the eyes out of this movie. And really, I couldn't, apart from it being super corny, mm. I couldn't find much else wrong. I thought the, the cast was great. The story, whilst it's unbelievable, was, was, it held my attention. It went for 90 minutes. Yeah, it's only yeah. just over 90 it minutes. It went for 90 minutes. Yeah, like, easy. If you've got a good storyline and some good actors in it 90 minutes is a great time right 3.5 for me 
Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, 3.5. I was a little higher, but then I thought... You thought... I thought, well... You're a little low. It's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe just a little bit. A little bit less. 3.5. You're a little now, low, Cougar. Now, G-Man, how are you going with this one? Yeah, I'm just... Uh, just I had a bit of trouble actually getting into my email this time, let alone... Uh, just... Just, I just want to stop for a sec. Now, there's a movie underneath that we haven't rated, so you sort of need just to highlight and sort. You can't do the whole page. Yeah. Right? What's, is that... Oh, you've got a red herring If I do it, if I do it, will you see no, it? No, no, no. I'll just, I'll just... So, if you just highlight down to the bottom, but see how there's Batman, the Batman yeah, down yeah, the bottom? No, we don't want to include yet. that. Um, In, okay. Oh, right. That's that one. And then you can do your sort from there, G. So you just let me know when you're going, and I'll lead you in in a few minutes. So yeah, let's because because my screen doesn't go all the way across. I've just got to find <laughs> on here. That's the, that's the problem with this. That's the problem. We know. Uh, we you know, know G man. You say it every single time. You yeah. say it every single time. <laughs> it's my screen. What if you made it at seventy percent? Your screen. I can, but I'd never get to because I always forget yeah. to do this, and then we get to this point. I'm like, shit, I haven't opened up my Gmail yet. But you're right, Damo. You're right. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. Is that better? Yeah. You could even have it at 100%, you know. It'd, you know I think it'd be okay with 100%. You just got it at 350 because you're blind as fuck. <laughs> no, no, that's just the <laughs> default. Yeah. I haven't changed it. Um, all right, where's it coming at? Well, I'm going to say it's about 50. 54. 3.1. Oh, yeah, it is 54, yep. Is it 54? It's 54. That Shit. is incredible. That is incredible. <laughs> Okay. I'm, like, I'm like Rain Man. I just remember yeah. exactly where everyone is. Yeah, no, you position. just knew it. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> Only flies one us. Yeah. Only flies one us. <laughs> uh, okay, so here we go. The ranking scout. Where does Dirty Dancing sit in the pantheon of the Born to Watch rank bank? Okay, this has tied up with a few movies at 3.17 Catches of the County. It's tied with Caddyshack at 3.17 Aqua oh. Turds. Oh, my God. It's okay. tied with When Harry Met Sally at 3.17 Sheldon the Wonder Schlongs. <laughs> it's tied with American Wear with London with 3.17 See You Next Wednesdays. Uh, it's right below Love Actually at 3.19 US Four Ways. <laughs> uh, it's also below Tremors, The Wedding Singer, um, it comes in at number 54, so it's uh, two-thirds wow. of the way down the okay. list, a bit yep. more than that's, that even. That's a, yeah. that's a fair way down there for old uh, Swaz, isn't well, it? Well, but that's that's similar to its IMDb rating. So Swayze's well, got, seven Swayze's got a movie at number 54 in Dirty Dancing and a movie at number 65 in Roadhouse. Yeah, I'd definitely go Dirty Dancing over Roadhouse. He's not, he's not really rating highly. I would. I, I, I don't know. I, did, I just put up a, a little snippet on... Uh, TikTok of uh, the three rules that Dalton lives by about be nice, oh. and it's had a hundred and or nearly two hundred thousand views. Oh right, wow. yeah, a lot of people licking it out. Yeah, yeah. we're just going to transfer those people to uh, to mm. listeners of the, Spotify of, of the podcast. Okay, well done, gentlemen. Uh, about right. It's down the it's the bottom third, well and truly the bottom third, bottom quarter really, which is a shame. I thought it was better, but Damo fucked it for everyone. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we're going to go to, if you love this, if you loved Dirty Dancing, what else are you going to love? G-Man. I've gone with two that are, I've got two here that are pretty straightforward. One is Footloose. Fuck you. you yeah, is that yours? Yeah, yeah I was going to say. I mean, it's oh. Footloose, another dance movie yeah. storyline, you know, similar to that. But, you, but you've yeah. got two. The other one I had was one I mentioned earlier was Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Oh, right. So for all yes. The, well, you're going back in the like Yeah, that's, um, my sister's watched that one as well. But that's um, that's a lot of lot of dancing in that one. Yeah. Sarah Jessica Parker, Helen Hunt. Yeah. Mm, shall, yep. shall. Yep. Well, now, I've gone for not a dancing one. I've gone for the premise of the, you know, wealthy Backdoor girl. <laughs> <laughs> the wealthy girl, daughter. Uh, and the the guy sort of from the wrong side of the tracks. Ooh, I like it. You know, Two Moon Junction. Oh, oh nice. Cheryl and Finn. Yep. I, I thought you might be going with Can't Buy Me Love there for a second. Well, <laughs> Never well, to be mentioned again. No, it's a bit different. But it's yeah. an 80, 87 movie. It Pres is, yeah. I should have yeah. been my hit. It was going to be my dud, but well, oh, Damo's oh, already covered it. And Damo's it. the president of the Can't Club. Buy Me Love fan Pre club. Yeah, I am. Still am. Yes. Mm. Go and see Two Moon Junction. Two Moon Junction is amazing. Yeah. Uh, is <laughs> Richard Tyson. Tyson. Yeah, Richard Tyson. Richard Cheryl Tyson. Cheryl and Fenn. Yep. Yeah. And when it played on TV, there was so much nudity in it. I remember there was a, they drew a rattan chair to in cover. front of her full body nude. Yep. Yeah. So you can see yeah. a spadger. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, you saw everything. <laughs> Old Richard Tyson. <laughs> Have, yeah. I think he had side dick in that too. He suited oh, yeah. up. Oh, yeah. He, had, he had plenty. He, yeah. Yeah, front, side, list. back. Yeah. He was... It was Dick, 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 dick. <laughs> well, there was a whole bunch. How many dicks is that? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but when she, like in the beginning too, she's sitting there, and she removes the tile and she's looking at the guys in the showers. Mate, she's a horny. Mince. It's just, yeah, it's just a full on sausage fest. I always thought from that, I always thought Sherilyn Fenn had blonde hair. So did I. Because of that movie. So did I. So when I saw her in uh, Twin Peaks. Yeah. I was very disappointed that hair, she was yeah. back with her with her That's dark right. hair. But yeah. what a what a great song! The, all the, the blonde hair and everything she wore was white. Yeah, the white BMW that yeah. was convertible. Everything was white. Super washed out. Yep. Yeah. Close the, a little little too much aperture. Okay, so mm. since Gal stole your um, Footloose, uh, well, I don't have anything else. I just had Footloose. So, but I'm 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 very quickly becoming a fan of Two Moon Junction again. So mm. I think that uh, it'll be Two Moon Junction for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, well done, gentlemen. Uh, another episode in the rear view. We've got something special next week. And Damo's having the week off. Yep. Oh, it's back to back to three. Is Morgs back next week? Morgs is back next yeah, week. Right. So it's, uh, it's back to the original programming. Oh, geez. Which, you know... We do like the new programming, but occasionally we go back to the original. Oh, jeez. It's, it's the anticipation. I'm just holding everyone's anticipation here. I've got a choice of two here because we missed one the other week because uh, Dan couldn't do it or because Gao couldn't do it, so we moved one. Oh, you did. So we've got an option here, Gao, and well, this won't be live, but we could do where the, the one in next week Damo was in it, but he's not. Karate Kid, was it? He's Alien. Oh, Alien. Oh, he's Alien. next week. Do you, oh, wow. do you want to do Alien? No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. okay, yeah. You, got you sure? Because yeah. we could do Karate Kid. No, 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 no. Okay, you, we'll you, do Alien. I, I mean, you guys will probably score it the same. I'd score it. Okay. Well, Dan's going to give it a five. Yeah. yeah. yeah Dan's yeah. right up there. No, I'd be right. I'm probably going to give it close to a five. I'd be, yeah, definitely in the fours. Okay. So next week we have something super special for us. We are delving into sci-fi horror and we're going into the 70s for a movie that changed the landscape. It's one of those movies where there's been a sequel. It could be better than the original, but the original's pretty freaking good. And even as we get older, the original gets even better. Alien, mm -hmm. where it all began. In space, no one can hear you scream. Yeah, one of the best taglines of all. Yeah, yeah. great tagline. Great tagline. Uh, one of the best runners of all movies. Ripley. Sigour yeah. Sigourney, uh, Ripley does a this lot of running. Is. Yeah. And, you know, it, we, the, the category was named because of Aliens, but she does a lot of running. Yeah. One of the shittest cats, Jonesy. Yeah. yeah. I think Jonesy's in on it, and we'll talk about it next week. I think he's in on it with the alien. <laughs> uh, don't never trust a cat. Not Jonesy, anyway. No, nah, Jonesy sucks. Hmm. But next week it'll be alien. We say farewell to Damo for a week. Yep. He's going to have a sabbatical mm -hmm. and, uh, and and get, get, his, get his rookie numbers up on the watching. <laughs> yeah. Because we've got something special the week after, which is a gal request. I'm, oh, you're away. I'm away. I'm in Bali. You are away. Okay. So just before you do record that, I'm just yeah. saying, well, if you want to change it or yeah. you want to still do well, it. No, 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 we'll, we'll find something while you're away. Karate Kid without me. No, no, no. no we well, can't. we can't. No, we'll, we don't behind enemy lines. Oh, it's also behind enemy lines, which we can't do without you. But that's cool. We'll sort something out. That's all good. Uh, anyway, gents, that's it. Another a great week. Oh, sorry, yeah, you got something oh, to say? I'm going to be away for two weeks. Yeah, you're away oh, for a bit. It's just I, growing. No, I'm in Bali for that. Like, I, we go next Monday, so I'm flying. I get there at this time, so. Yeah. Unless I can hook up. Well, I can't. I can't do that. Nah, it's all good. Hang on. I've been hanging on to that. There's no... And that. There's no filtration in here. Yeah. All right, let's right. wrap it up then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on that note. Yeah, wrap it up. Uh, okay. How am I supposed to sing with that flying through my lungs? Okay, so next week it's Alien. We're excited about that. It'll be the original trio back to, uh, to bring joy to your lives. Please share the podcast to all your friends. If you're listening on Apple, give us a review. And if you're listening on Spotify, give us a five-star rating. It really helps with the with other people getting to see the show. We'd really love that. Follow us on socials. We're blowing up on Instagram and on TikTok. So get on there. Make some comments. Join the community. We love you all that are listening to us. We just want a, a, a few more people. Just a few more. How many more? A million? Yep. About a million. Yep. We want to join... 
We've got to join hands and hearts and voices with everyone. <laughs> we everyone do. we can. We do. We do. At Kellerman's. Yeah, at Born to Watch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we aim to please and we always come up short. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you know, we'll leave it there, and then we're gonna, and then we'll go. How are we gonna do this? Let's just play it first. You've got to yeah. play it. So we I'll play. It. I can play it on here. Oh. Yeah, but we just want the the last. Well, you want the maybe. What do you want a a, a, a verse and a chorus? The, the final one. So we can go. Um, I think we go. Oh, the girl. Oh, I've got it written here. Um, feel your breath in my face. Your body close to me. <laughs> Here we go. And look in your eyes. Maybe we can just do that final chorus. Yeah, we don't need to do the whole song. No, I think it, it's... It, we need the bit that... We can, can you put your mic down to it then? So we can hear it. Oh, we can take it off, I guess. No, I'll just take your events off. Are you, um... You want to just do... So I reckon it's, um... So I reckon we go to... You know that ending goes for like a, a minute and a half. Yeah, it's a good ending there, but they, it's it's alternate. So it goes. So we need to start it. Feel the breath in my face. Yeah, I reckon. No, it's after this. this Ready? Bit, yes. Yeah. 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 Sexy sax. Ready? Feel the breath okay. in my face. Yep. yep. My body close to me. Yep. Can't look in her eyes. You're out of my league. Just a fool to believe. Just a fool to believe. She's like the wind. Just, Just a fool to believe. Just a fool to believe. She's like the wind. Patrick. Just a fool to believe. Just a fool to believe. She's like the wind. Just a fool. Just a fool to believe She's, she's like, like the wind. wind How are we going to divvy this up? So I, tell tough. me where I've got to come I in I reckon we just I reckon we just If he does a bit Then I'll do the next bit If you do the next bit It doesn't matter As long yeah, as we're as just doing it in different yeah. bits I think we just sing And then whenever we feel the urge to sing well, We just yeah. sing You guys sing I'm just going to jump in Yeah, yeah. just jump yeah, in just when you think so, you need yeah. to yeah. Okay so we all sing the fear. I feel a breath in my face. Yep, okay. A body we're all close to that. me. Yep. Okay. And Can't then, look in her eyes. The just a fool then. She's out of my league. Yeah, you just right do this on, one okay. on its own. So we're ready to go? Hang on. What, what are you doing on your so, own? The, the first, when it goes into just a fool to believe. Just a fool to believe. So we'll sing, we'll sing that whole chorus together. Okay, right. And, and then, then I'll just go, yep, yep. just a fool to believe. Yep. All right. Just a fool to believe. <laughs> All right, you ready? Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, I'm just thinking about how we can lead into three, this. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, right. I'm just thinking about how we can lead into this. Um, oh, something about, uh, you know what? Or some, she's like the wind or... Um, yeah, that, po that podcast was like the wind. Yeah, something about the podcast. That went so quick. Oh, it felt, okay, like, it went so, it felt like the wind. Yeah, it felt like yeah. it went so quick. It was like the and wind. Then, and then how are we starting? Just feel a the, fool no, to believe. No, no, feel, feel your breath, breath in my face. face. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. Jeez, boys, that's, uh, that was such a good episode. It, it just went it went past like the wind. I feel a breath in my face. Your, your body close to me. Can't, can't look, look in your, your eyes. eyes. You're out of my league Just a fool to believe Just a fool to believe She's like the wind Just a fool to believe Just a fool to believe She's like the wind Just a fool to believe She's like the wind Just a fool Just a fool to believe she liked the wind. <laughs> that was pretty bloody good. That was that's the best we've done. That was pretty bloody good. <laughs> Let's listen to that. <laughs> I think we liked the wind. <laughs> just a fool. We feel the urge to sing. Oh, we just yeah. sing. You guys, uh, just a fool then. Just a fool to believe. So I just a fool to believe. All right, you ready? I'm just thinking about how we can lead into Three, this. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, right. I'm just thinking. Um, yeah, that that podcast that went so quick. Oh. 
Just feel a fool it. to no, believe. No, no, feel, feel your breath. breath. Thanks, boys. That's, uh, that was such a good episode. It, it just went, it went past like the wind. <laughs> I feel a breath in my face. <laughs> your body close to me. Can't look in your eyes. You're out of my league. Just a fool to believe. Just a fool to believe. She's like the wind. Just a fool to Just believe. Just a fool to believe. She's like the wind. Just a fool to believe. Just a fool to believe. She's like the wind. Just a fool to Just believe. A fool <laughs> Pretty bloody good. <laughs> That's the best we've done. Yeah, Pretty bloody, bloody good. good. The whole thing is just us going. Oh, just listen, listen. <laughs> That was pretty bloody good. That was that's the best we've done. That was pretty bloody good. <laughs> Let's listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck it. Hell. What a perler. Perler. Shit, eh? Okay. Just a fool to believe.